Punch Boy's going to punch local wildlife. And we are off. We, a little... we ain't starting yet. Oh, um, we're just testing yeah. the mic. We're doing an on stream mic check. Mic check. Fuck it. Okay. Is that starting soon goes away? Yep. I thought about, uh...
we're off to the races. Hello, hello, people, probably for the second time because we did a mic check earlier. Yes, I am definitely not looking at the microphone right now. Okay. How is everybody today? I'm Lo uh, Lockwood Maku. I'm Jack Bird Joe. Um, and yet another uh, day of Xenogear streaming. So thank you all for coming. Uh, let's where, where do we leave? Let's let's recap real quick. Bart fucked up. Yeah, I mean no shit. He shot the Blackbird out of the air. Bart. Sorry, the Goliath. Yeah. So last time uh, the whole Kislev raid happened and we had to Amscray real quick, Ellie finally joined the party after, God, what must be the halfway point in uh, the first disc by now. Better late than never, fuck. Especially with how good she is with Aether. We are never, she's basically like Melia. She is so good once you get her, she never leaves the party unless you absolutely have to. Never, never, ever, 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 ever. Unless you want a Dunban tank. And then we had another encounter with Groff on the Goliath, which ended in a way no one playing this game for the first time would ever have expected. Oh, yeah, no, that was that was golden. That was absolutely golden. That was absolutely fantastic. And now the Blackbird's been... Uh, sorry, now I did it. The Goliath <laughs> got shot out of the air. Uh, Shitan and Rico thankfully got rescued. They're on the Yggdrasil right now. Uh, Faye and Ellie, on the other hand, are just adrift on top of some wreckage of some kind, and we have no idea what the situation's gonna be with them. So, our objective before we ended the stream was to basically find where Bart is on the Yggdrasil and, uh, link up with him. Also, Rico still has one HP because he got his shit pushed in in the Groff fight. <laughs> uh, Don't bother healing him, it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna spin a survival. No, 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 because we can- because we have an, a free in on the- on the Yggdrasil anyway. Oh, we do! Yeah, we could just go to the to the bunk beds, to the resting quarters. Oh my god, this feel. It's been a while since. We no, were... I, I'm. So we're, I'm, I'm trying a, new, a slightly different setup than usual. Uh, it's literally the game is playing on like at, at least two screens, not counting the cap, the stream setup itself. Hot goblin man forced to eat dirt more at eleven. <laughs> right. But yeah, we're trying a slightly different setup this time, so I actually, my audio, uh, me on the audio comes out more clearly. Yeah. Uh, please, if y'all hear anything, like I sound distant, I sound not talking into the mic, anything at all, please, by all means, let us, let us know so we can actually, uh, yeah, so we can actually get that sorted out as soon as possible. Jatan, Rico, why are you camping in the hallway? Go away, you're not invited to the clubhouse. Like, that's basically what you using a survival tent would be like. Pretty much. Like the like the episode of SpongeBob where they have the imagination box. <laughs> you have to use your imagination. <laughs> Such a stupid fucking episode. I know, but it but that's kind of SpongeBob in a nutshell. It's stupid in a very good way. Yeah. At least for most of the original seasons where Hellenberg was involved. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Yes, this for? is it. Uh, you have to talk to a specific guy in here. I do it. It's this guy. Uh, I think no. it's the- no, I think it's the other guy. Uh... Oh my god, dialogue. Dude with the mustache. Fucking Burt Reynolds. Oh, are you Rico, the battling champ? I'm originally from Kishlev, it's great to meet you! A little bit of world building here. And Rico just turns away. Well, I'm no longer the champ, so there's no need to get so excited. One moment here. Are you- Sorry, Sorry about that. that. We were having a bit of a Three Stooges moment. Right. Wait, can we not uh, try talking just... to him again? Yeah, okay. There we go. It's a little messy, so bear with it. Hot racking! That's somebody else's bed and we're sleeping in it. I mean, I imagine these beds aren't really owned by many people. It's considering that this is a this is a massive thing that needs to be manned pretty much twenty four seven. It's pretty. It's probably like a rotating schedule, like military cots. Uh, no. Uh, more more specifically, a submarine. Yeah, fair enough. Because uh, because it is literally a submarine. Yeah. Now. Well, yeah. Now it is. Uh, in, in the navy at least, uh, sub submariners have to do have to do hot racking. Yeah. Which is pretty much two people share the same bed, and the moment somebody gets out, that's their shift. Somebody else gets in, 
and now they're uh, sleeping in that same bed yeah. per shift. Which, Technically, three people would can share it, but which is probably how it works, considering again the scale of this thing. I'm going the right place, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're back on the bridge. It has been a while since we were in here. I'm glad they have some potted plants. Makes the submarine feel homey. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, if you talk to that guy standing at the potted plant early in the game, he actually says it was planted on the same day that uh, Bart here was born. So it's literally as old. And there are like, uh, there's like a little bit of like a romanticized story about how like the more the plant grows, the more it represents how much the, their young master has grown or something to that effect. Well, if it isn't Dr. Shitan Uzuki and his uh, very big friend. I see you finally woken up. I am terribly sorry about what happened. Please forgive me. I have a name, you know. It's Ricardo Banderas. But everyone calls me Rico. I mean, people aren't going to be calling you that for long because you're hardly going to get any screen time from here on. <laughs> so, what are you apologizing to us for? I suppose I'd better stop beating around the bush. It's... I'm not usually this frank or apologetic, but... Well... What he is trying to say is this. The people who shot us down and the people who saved us are one and the same. The ship's crew. You don't mean... The Goliath we were riding in was shot down by... Eh, you're a bit of a slow one there, uh, big friend. Actually, our Yggdrasil 2 did a good job in shooting down that monster of an airplane. It was great! Got a little bit of reveal there that it's not, you know, the old one isn't the same. You should have seen it! Oh, my BART missiles were super awesome! Ah! I won't forgive you so easily! Suplex! Tiger uppercut! I like how if you look really quick, you can see like a little exclamation point over Bart's head like, Oh, Jesus. You yeah. little... I knew it. I thought this thing was floating unusually. Hold it! But even knowing that, there's no way we can get them out, right? You little... They're right under us, but covered by water and a thick wall. Hold it! It's probably well tall and vierge. For better or worse, they've stuck by us this far. You little... But... They're useless now at this point, though. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> you little... It appears our gears are underneath here, Faye, but we can't reach them. This is like when something important is being talked about in my... <laughs> yep. This is exactly that. This is like the same thing that you and Mims do. <laughs> Yep. What are you doing, Faye? What am I doing? Can't you tell? I'm trying to catch a fish. Uh, this one's been jumping up and down right in front of me, trying to make me look like a fool. You little punk. I see you. Um, you're not going to catch it and eat it, are you? That is what you do with fish. If we don't eat it, we're going to die. All right, I gotcha. You're joking, you'll get sick. I'd like to point out real quick that we've already established that Solaris apparently seems to be in the sky. So this may well be Ellie's first time actually eating live caught prepared fish. Yeah. Because to ship it all the way somewhere that's like in the atmosphere, there would probably need to be a bunch of steps taken to preserve it. Or it would be like, uh like, uh, police knots, where they would have to use, like, tofu substitutes. Probably. You're not gonna eat? Well, let me see. We need something to cook it with. Uh... If it's just laying on there gasping for air. <gasps> Water! Hey, come on, stop it. I'm not gonna blame you if you get sick and die. Or, I'm not to blame if you get sick and die. Don't worry. Once it's in your stomach, it's all the same. It's not wrong. I'm not gonna... Hey, look there. What? Did the fish get away? What are you talking about? It's still there. What the... That's... 
Graph off in a distance. I st oh. Been a while since we saw that, isn't it? It's an orbiting little... Sky pretzel. Yeah, that's a good word. Yep. Or sky donut, rather. It's not... Because it's a big ring. Like a big onion ring. That's the thing I saw in the desert. It's flying a lot higher this time. Bagelopolis! Where people debate over whether or not sour cream... cream uh, wait, no, that's donuts. I mean, you could actually put sour cream on, a, on certain, like, bagel sandwiches, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be nearly as good as putting cream cheese on there, because what the fuck are you doing? Shavat. Where have I heard... Yeah, that's right. I like how he takes a brief minute to think about it and then realizes it in the same sentence. That's not something you see a lot of character writing in media actually do. Just a very minor little thing. Right. That weird mass man. You said my father was in its military. So that saucer is what Doc and the mass man said was the country my mother and father lived in? Turns out he's not a lamb. What? No, uh, I think... Actually, no. That's... Hmm. I actually couldn't say, because that actually does bring up a good question about whether or not the people of Shabbat also count as lambs, because... Uh, yeah, like Ellie is saying right now, it's a country outside the reach of Solaris. Shabbat uses the same kind of barrier that Solaris does, so you can't reach it by conventional means. How can something that flies that high in the sky be a country? Woo! Okay, good. I was afraid that actually- Nothing important, Phil. What? <laughs> yes, I don't blame you for being so surprised. It usually hovers over the region known as the Akuvi Islands area. Again, we're hearing that name. First Ignis and now, which is the continent we started on, and now we have Akuvi Islands. You probably saw it on some sort of special mission. That's why it was flying so low. Chevat. Now it's just kind of chilling out right then and there. Yeah, that's its normal altitude. Also, very good transition because it didn't do the little zoom in thing it usually does for this one. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, nations are a concept, Faye. Keep up. <laughs> I just imagine, like, it, I just imagine we open the menu and Bart's at 1 HP now. Right. After that beating. X-Files team intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the Bart missiles weren't such a good idea, huh? We were able to save you and your friend, Shaitan. But I wonder what happened to Faye and Ellie. I'm sure they're alive somewhere. Once again... Man, sea breeze stings my eye. This is what they call the sea. First of all, I have to apologize to those two. So now we're playing as Bart again for the first time in a while, and our objective is apologize for being a massive fuck up and walking human disaster. So I'm gonna assume we're gonna go straight to the bridge yet again. Actually, no. Well, technically, yes. I think there is a, uh, a very interesting line of dialogue you get if you talk to Sigrid at this point. Young Master, you should apologize to the two of them. Oh, I, I think it's a different part, point in the game then. Because I think there's something where... Because I think there is a kind of amusing bit of dialogue you can get, but... Uh... Thankfully, this place isn't particularly big, so it's not hard to find them by process of elimination. I know specifically where to find them, but I'm not going to say unless you want me to. Nah. I got, I got, a, I got a feeling. Also, since it's been a while, we might have new parts in the gear shop, and Bart's gear has not been touched since 
forever. So we might want to look into that. It's the shed we just passed. Yeah, I'm just making sure they're not this way. Why are you looking at that box? Be the shed. Hey, plant guy, still staring at that potted plant? Yes, sir. Good work. You get a promotion. Promoted to plant first class plant. Also, small detail. There's only one guy in black here. There used to be more, but they were members of my Treya's uh, troop who fought against uh, Vandercom. Huh. General Maitreya, Falcon, and Ferent are gone. I miss them. Oh, boy. Oh, young one. Did you want to talk to me? Uh, about my shooting down the Goliath, I'm, uh, really, uh... Oh, is that it? I guess it could not be helped. Pretty flippant, aren't you? Then again, Shitan just has this vague hint of, like, being, I've seen everything by this point, I'm not surprised. Yeah. But jumping the gun is your bad habit. A king should always keep calm and judge carefully. Mason says the same thing. Yeah, I know, I know. By the way, I have something to ask you. Oh, that is unusual. Well, it's about this warship we're on. Which is the same type as the Yggdrasil. Years ago, my old man told me it was scrapped because the peace talks with Kislev made progress. Ding, 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 we finally got the Bart joke in chat. Yep, there it is. <laughs> There's the low-hanging fruit falling right off the tree. It's still topical. Because you know Sigurd's probably just like, every time he fires off a missile, he's just like, why are you little? Pretty much. <laughs> so, I knew it existed. Hmm, then what is bothering you? The symbol on the ship, it's not a royal crest. Look at this. Unfortunately, we don't actually get to see it, but this Use is- Use your imagination. Yeah, as uh, games of this time were want to do. I thought you knew it. Whose crest is it? I am not positive, but it looks like Shavat's. Connecting more of those threads like these games uh, tend to do. Shavat, what do you mean? <laughs> Why does Bart keep saying eat my short when he fires at enemies? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bear with me one moment here. Yep. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Okay. The Eatrisil may not have been made by your father. At that time, much of the potential technology was not understood, and hence it was hidden. Maybe your father might have been scared of its power and so sealed it away. I see. So this may not have been ours from the start. Oh, I bet he, I bet your dog regrets that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is such a, like... Oh, yeah. Citrus and dogs do not mix. No, they don't. If so, I want to meet the guys who made this amazing baby. The way he talks about it like that, you know if Bart was able to afford it. He would put those dumb, oversized Hot Wheels flame decals on the side of this bitch. I'd fucking do it if I owned one of, the, one of them myself, fuck. <sighs> Look at a submarine! The flames make it go faster! No, you have to paint it red if you want it to go faster. That's how it works. I mean... You gotta paint it blue to keep it cool. And Bart you absolutely it. owns... No, you know what? Not only does he own Hot Wheels, Bart would 120% be the guy who owns Bionicles and would just sit there and talk to you about Bionicle lore for two and a half hours while you're sitting there trying to eat your goddamn tuna sandwich. <laughs> you know I'm right. That sounds like that came from somewhere personal. No, it didn't. I'm just good at making very specific analogies. Actually, well, they may be closer to you than you suspect. Bear with me one moment here, trying to get a solution for me seeing chat at the same time. <laughs> I think it works. It does, but... Okay. X-Files theme intensifies once more. Huh? Right. What did you say? Anyways, enough worrying, but I do think you should apologize to Rico. 
You may get more than a bruise this time, though. Just smash cut to a massively uh, motion blurred image of uh, Rico throwing him, throwing Bart like Saul's grab animation in Guilty Gear. <laughs> the one where it's just like throws the opponent over his head. Oh yeah, no, absolutely the loop, the track loop. Just looks like Green Hills. Just looks like he tried to recreate the loops of Green Hill Zone. Actually, right. we want to talk to that lady because again, we want to see oh, if there's right, any right, gear right. upgrades. He's already got the eye patch. Giving him a hook hand would be doing him a favor, really. Yeah, it's sort of funny that he's had the eye patch for years before he actually came out to sea and became a genuine pirate. I'm pretty sure he's loving this shit. Okay, so she's basically talking about how there's uh people from Nissan on the ship as like uh uh God, why is the term escaping me? Jatan, cut my hand off! I have this awesome idea. Right. All right, now we want to get a better frame. Yep, we're bringing to your right 6400. Yep, yep. I fuck with that number. Now we have a new option for gear defense. We have XMS Alloy 25. The armor value 200, ether armor value 50. So we now have the option between getting more physical armor or getting slightly less, but in exchange for ether defense. Yeah, so that's definitely going to be a decision to be made. I think for now, we'll be fine with just picking the uh, XMS 25, but the Alloy 25 is also... 20 over 5 is also slightly cheaper, uh, if you want to consider that. What I personally like to do is uh, have a couple people with the 25, and then give someone uh, like Ellie the uh, Z Alloy uh, Ether split stuff, just to be safe, because she's already a mage, so giving her extra... Uh, ether defense feels fitting. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing is get the caster do do the pretty much the caster route. Yeah. Have the caster with a lot of magical defense. Though there will be a specific boss later where we will want everyone involved in that fight to have good ether defense. It's late into disc two, but I will tell you. Uh we don't have to worry about upgrade actually yeah, we can upgrade. Yeah, I was about Shaitan to say he's not doing looking too great on that. Uh, we're good on that. Uh, and we're just going to completely ignore Rico because we are never using him. Yeah, no. Consider it done. And did you give him a better... Did you give him everything, engine, frame, etc.? Yeah. All right, you, uh, you check for a new frame? Frame, frame is already okay. good to go. So we just need to do... All right, that's fair. So uh, for Ellie's, uh, Vierge. Fuel... Also, I like the slight gameplay and story segregation where we can upgrade Welltall and Viers despite the fact that Ellie implied they might be stuck under the rubble. Also, remember to... Yeah. Because then that refills their health as well. And then... Uh, Welltall? Before I do. Oh, yeah. G ammo. That's something we haven't seen yet. We don't know anyone who uses guns, so... Hmm. This game does have a habit of foreshadowing some characters uh, in the shop menus, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We now have some new things we can buy. Extra armor, light armor, which uh, ties into that gimmick I mentioned before about how there's specific gears like Ellie's Vierge who are considered lightweight. Yeah, they receive more benefit... I don't remember, red was good, right? Red is good, blue okay. is bad. Might get... We might also want to buy a couple uh, frame HP 30s too. Yeah, yeah. Because, again, we're going into fights where we're going to need to heal. Okay, that's good to go. So we're now going to, well. Uh, yeah, we might want to upgrade Weltall. I want to say Weltall's good if, uh... We didn't get him, uh... All is good. But we didn't get him a new engine. Right. Alright, V18. Check. Yep, we can get a thousand more hit points, which is always good. And, uh, XMS 25. You know, he keeps alluding to the fact that... Heimdall's supposed to use chest Vulcans or something. No, no, no. I, I mentioned before that it's actually in the perfect works. 
all of the gears, even the melee ones, have onboard weaponry. They just never use them in actual story, but there's actual specs in the Perfect Works that shows that every single gear has onboard firearms installed. Okay. That's why there's that one weird throwaway scene early in the game where it seems like Weltall uh, shot at those two uh, OV gear, those OV Sand Trooper gears with like guns from out of nowhere. Yeah. Because those were integrated uh, firearms in its uh, like chassis or something. Which turned into like a meme about like Weltall having machine gun nipples. It's like the the Fembots from Austin Powers. Yep. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> Uh, do you want me to tell you where Rico is? Because I remember on my first time, it's not super clear. I want to say he might be in the bar. I'm just trying to remember where, the, how to get to the bar. The bar is to the uh, right. It's where Mason is. I think it is because, uh, without because there are a couple gears that do have like the chest plating specifically folds open to reveal like cannons and stuff. So that might be the case for Weltall because there is segmentation in that area. Okay, feel free to, for, for, for the sake of time, feel free to tell me where. Go to the gear of docks. So I was in the right area? Yes. Okay. Not Frank. No. And uh, you actually brought this up last stream how the hair, the quote-unquote hair on Vierge is specifically patterned in such, and textured in such a way, it looks like it splits open. Like, yeah. to reveal, like, weaponry or something. You want to go to the gear paddock where Steer is. Because remember, you can walk up to those and examine the gear. No, you have to go up the stairs and around. Right. Because remember, re because the reason why you would assume this is because Rico was a gear battling champion, so he would be checking up on his gear after a big incident to make sure it's properly maintained. Yeah. So it makes sense when you think about it, but... You know... Eh? Mm. Quit the silent treatment. I came here to apologize. What's your problem? I thought I dealt with you a while ago. I'm not the type to dwell on the past. <sighs> I'm more concerned about those two gears there. Who the hell are you? I'm amazed you tuned them to run so well. I thought Faye and I were the only ones who could work gears that well. I like the little sprite flavor text going on right now. Like the dude just shit like shouting off screen at somebody. Oh, fuck it! Get that part to bay three! No, 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 what are you doing? No, the hydraulic pumps do not go over in warehouse four. They go in warehouse three because that's where we put all the proper maintenance and fluids. No, that's like... What do you mean headlight fluid? What are you talking about? We're friends now. Let's talk about cars. Hey, Rico, how do you feel about... Brand. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you really are the battling champ. Uh, I, I mean, ex champ. I'm amazed you can tell how you can tell a gear. Blah. I'm amazed you can t how you can tell how good a gear is just by looking at it. Amateur hour voice actor time with me. Right? Eh, you're warming up, warming up. Yeah. Uh, I guess you can't learn all about the world inside a dark prison. Really interesting. I was gonna move on, but now I've changed my mind. Let me join you, boss. Uh, I guess it's all right. I imagine he's like those people you meet who like, when they're like trying to be friendly, they call you boss. Even though for right. someone like me, it's like really weird because I'm like, I don't think I'm good enough at anything to be worth being called boss. Please just call me by my name. It seems like we drifted further off. So my question is, why are they having so much trouble finding these guys? Probably because the wreckage has specifically drifted off at such a point that they don't know what they're looking for. Because it is implied that what they are on specifically is a small part of what remains of the Goliath that's being held aloft underneath by Weltall and Vierge being stuck under them. Now, would that be buoyancy or just engines passively going? 
I think buoyancy because they're not active at this time. Fair enough. Although it is implied that Weltall has more going on with it because it seems because there's like no matter what Faye tries to do, he can't get away from Weltall even if he wanted to. So he's just like quietly given up at this point. And it seems to be the same thing with Vierge with Ellie. I don't know if that's the case. Constantly drifting. Sounds like me right now. What do you mean? I've been drifting around, being led by circumstances. No, that's not right. In awe, you helped Bart when he needed it. And in Kislev, you gave your all to defend, to save everyone. You've even shown concern for me many times. No, I'm just no good. Why? Probably deep inside, I'm not really trying to help. Ellie walks in. Faye, who are you talking to? <laughs> Why are you replying back as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually the two of them talking to each other. Somehow, I, feeling. I get the feeling that all I've done, I did because I wanted to be needed. That if I did something for them, then maybe I'd have a place to belong. There's a side of me that comforts itself like that. Oh yeah, it absolutely does. I love this part. That doesn't mean I don't want to help, but... That doesn't mean I really want to help either. It might not be nothing, but it sure isn't the whole either. I'd been drifting, led around until I met you, Ellie. Now, we're stranded out in the ocean. Sorry. Got you involved. It's okay. It, don't worry about me. I've been thinking why I'm here. I could have just gone back, but for some reason I didn't. Probably because you said it's better to do something than nothing. I think that's why I felt I had to do something. It's okay to not feel... whole. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ellie! Where? What? Huh? Huh? I thought you were already here! Hey, why does the sock puppet have conspicuous yellowish stains on it? No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh. 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 Okay, okay. Gonna gonna refine the place, gonna not derail this anymore. <clears throat> Even if you only feel partially complete, if you repeat that enough, eventually it'll be whole. A part is better than zero. You're right. I'm sorry. If we're saved, will you go back? I probably won't go back to my squad. Right now, I really don't want to be there. Just smash cut to the off base uh, and and just like rank somehow got his head stuck in a pickle jar and everyone's screaming and crying around him how do i get it off ah, ah! advance over there just like <laughs> <laughs> he's just like having he's just like clearly overdosed on drive and he's just like uh, uh -huh. Uh, Vance, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, t I, uh, Helm Holmes, I need you to tell me that I can leave this room whenever I want to. Vance, you can leave this room whenever. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. No, I'm thinking of going back to my country. Is that possible? All these gears make a circle. All these gears make a circle. All these gears make a circle. <laughs> Ellie, where are my underpants? Ellie, how do I make hot pockets? Oh god, where is she? <laughs> it's 
It's not like anyone knows what I did. They've probably already classified me as MIA. Hard, hard cut to our room with the with the little inconspicuous cylinder and a clock just ticking down. <laughs> they won't know what I did. Not yet, at least. <laughs> like, Ellie, what are you talking about? Look, Faye, I, was al I already had plans on like how I was going to put in my two weeks notice. This was just me cutting the bullshit. They, they're going to find out soon enough. Guys, if they, guys, if Ellie, yeah, it would be like that one. Oh, you know, it, it would totally be like that one Metalocalypse episode where like uh, either Nathan or Toki leaves and everyone just acts like there's no parents around. And then suddenly Swiss Guard and Murderface watch an R-rated movie and they just like go and uh, and they just ask Pickles, can we sleep with you tonight? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'm sure you'll find out. Actually, no. Fuck me. That's perfect. Ellie Squad is basically just fucking met, uh, Death Clock in terms of their like general personalities. That's fucking perfect. <laughs> and and she's just basically Charles Oftenson and how she has to put up with their bullshit. And now that she's gone, everything is just fucked. Hard cut to her coming back and walking into room. Hey guys, I brought pizza. It's, uh... <laughs> Where the hell are we anyway? I think they calls it food libraries. <laughs> that will forever be one of my favorite quotes from that fucking show. Just don't be too hard on yourself. Everyone wants to be needed at times. But it, yeah, to sort of switch gears and be a little serious. Again, this is something I've brought up multiple times, so I'm sorry if I'm being a dead horse, but... I love this about these two, that they're clearly just trying to figure shit out as they go, and it's not like they have everything together just because they have a goal they're shooting for. They admit they're kind of just meandering, trying to figure out their own lives as everything else to do with the plot is just basically happening around them. Yeah, it feels like a small identity crisis happening actively on in-game. But like one where they're slowly building themselves up, and that's yeah. part of what makes this so very resonant. Because even with Shulk, he was kind of like, for a little while, defining himself by his uh, revenge against Metal Face before things sort of change around in the second act. Which is yeah, which is a big reason why I've loved that game. It's just it it just defies all tropes. In part because the revenge plot is put in a positive light. Yeah, for the most part, because it's not seen as him like being consumed by revenge it's seen as him just being done with the way things are and wanting to make an active change anyways even me remember how you forced yourself to eat those emergency rations yeah it, it, it absolutely is it's not i know what to do it's my destiny now like final fantasy 8 where squall is told multiple times they don't want to be told what to do but then immediately told by that same character in the nest disc you have to do this because it's your destiny you throw it up no at Faye is hey are you okay it's in my nose i told you not to eat such a gross looking animal Ugh, oh, it tastes horrible. The last time I had food this bad was Doc's cooking. <laughs> Chitan confirmed for not being able to cook. Chitan is the kind of person who would burn water. Like he, like he tears open a packet of like angel hair pasta, pours it in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's the type of person that would start a grease fire by putting water in the grease to stop it from catching fire. Oh! Uh, unless we do something, we're gonna die. I guess there's no other way. I was hoping to save this for a little longer. This should hold us for another day. But only for- but it's only for emergency calories, so I can't promise how good it'll taste. Bust out a block of calorie, mate. I think that's essentially what this is. Huh? It's all dry and crumbly. It is a block of calorie made. It is. I thought so. You don't like it, do you? Uh, well, no, no, no. It, it's good. Yeah, uh, it's great. Oh god, I'm suddenly wanting calorie mates. Uh, whatever you'd share with me couldn't be that bad, could it? <sighs> you 
You forced yourself to eat those rations earlier, didn't you? For me to survive, it would have been better not to share it. Please, please tell me that's... Why? You didn't have enough. Oh, I mean, that's still pretty why, but I can kind of see... Yeah... Yeah, it didn't go well. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but watching you eat it even though it tasted bad comforted me. I felt glad I shared it with you. It made me feel a little better. For your own sake. Uh, yeah, for my own sake. It's selfish, I admit. But I think it's okay to be that way at first. Yeah, uh, because they're, it's trying to bond, but it's not going to bond. Not willingly, at least. But little by little, you learn about your own happiness. And someday you're able to share that important part of you with someone else. Someday. Uh, <laughs> uh what's up? Uh, nothing. It just... I felt as though I've told you the same thing long ago. It must be my imagination. I couldn't have said it to you before because we've only just met, haven't we? Yeah, it's probably just my imagination. You're probably gonna love what's coming up here. Ellie! Hey Ellie, wake up! Good morning, Faye. You're up early. No time for formalities. Look at that! Huh? Grab standing, standing on a dead whale. I got hungry! <laughs> oh! Yeah! I bet you, I have a, I had a feeling you were going to like this. Oh no, not ominous. Not in the slightest, considering where we're going. It, it's the salvager from Susei no Gargantia. <laughs> okay. Never seen that? No. Okay, you should. It's it's uh, wrote by the guy who did, wrote Fate Zero. Yeah. It's good I've shit. I've never seen Fate Zero. Oh, uh, it's good shit. It's good shit. I mean, you're saying good shit and you're saying Fate, so those two are clearly oxymorons. But anyway... Welcome to what is considered one of the better conceptual towns in this entire game. I'm so surprised that there are people living afloat on the vast sea. On top of that, you are with two gears. That's unheard of. Uh, thanks. You helped us out. You better thank the captain. Penguin man. I think he's a dolphin, but that works too. He has a coloration of a penguin. Yeah. The one who gave the order for us to pull you two floaters out was the captain of the Thames. So, the weird thing about the name of this place is, uh, it's supposed to be Tamas, because, again, most of the major settlements are named for months on the Hebrew calendar, but it's got misspelled as Thames, and then there's also the River Thames to yeah, conflict to things even further, so I don't know what to go with for pronunciation. I want to say Thames. I'm just going to go with... I, I think I may as well just go with Thames, because that feels closer to... close enough to Tamuz while also fitting how it's actually spelled in the localization. Yeah. Well, I do believe Thomas is also... Tums. Thames. So... Thames, Toms, uh, etc. Tim Tams. Tim Tams. The, the, the floating town of Tim Tams. <laughs> it's the, our favorite Australian treat. The city at the sea. This is where you are now. The captain here is a bit of a strange old chap. You'll see him when you meet him. That's not to say he's a bad old blighter. Uh, what about our gears? Oh, don't worry about it. We put him inside the Thames through, through the supply dock. Seawater got inside, so it'll take some time to fix him. You're repairing them for us? Pretty strange for us to be so nice. I bet that's what you're thinking. But really, we had no choice because it's the captain's orders. Well, I have to go now. I'm a busy guy, you know? 
Oh, and have you seen my cousin? He seems to be obsessed with sand. No, he seems to be obsessed with... He keeps telling me to check out his SoundCloud. He keeps plugging it to everyone we know. He keeps sending it in every Discord, and I don't know why. It's mostly just weird sounds of, like, uh, metal clanging, occasional laughs, all sorts of weird stuff. The occasional... <laughs> Come to the bridge after you looked around the ship for a while. Also, what if you had a whole box of ho-hos or something in one of them, and it all got... And it got all over the cockpit. My battle snacks! Right? <laughs> I'm sure the captain would want to meet you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point these guys are basically just like we pack sandwiches and like boxes of Twinkies in case we have to sit through a villain monologue. Right. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that guy somewhere before. They even allude to it. Ah, uh, never mind. So now we are free to explore one of our first screens of the Thames. And so hot. I mean, this place is basically a giant rusted metal barge, so yeah. I imagine it it uh there's a lot of heat conductance. Also, wow, that level deficit. Yeah. Ellie I'm... is five levels behind Faye. <laughs> I'm just making it so much worse. Jatan is also four levels behind Faye. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Why aren't you looking at it? No. <laughs> just no. So there is, there are a couple things we can see. Like if we examine what appears to be a walk with a pull string. Oh, this? Yeah. Hell? Hey, you got your eyes on something good. Damn. You know what this is? Damn, son. I was right. Is what this is. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, hey, wait a minute. This isn't for sale. Sorry, I can't sell it. We also see some other interesting things, like look over there. Hey, for being so young, you have good taste. Damn, this is... What a stoplight. It really is a traffic light, is what this is. Isn't this just bad? Just pulls out a power glove. It's so bad. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't for sale. Sorry, I can't sell it. And we got this fan we can examine. Hey, I'm damn sure you'll like this. This is... Damn, son. Oh. Oh. Is it bad that I was waiting for part of the blade to just go flying off? <laughs> is what this is. Isn't it just great? Uh... Hey, wait a minute. This is not for sale. Sorry, I can't sell it. Sir, what is actually for sale? Damn, you dumb old man. Damn, son. All you make is useless crap. Why don't you make something that'll sell? What are you saying, stupid kid? There ain't no way you could ever understand the soul and romance of a Thames man. What? The soul of a Thames man? Or of a Thames man, rather. Yeah, it's whatever. If they were all as dumb as you, the Thames had gone under long ago. are actively calling him out on his bullshit sort of right anyway uh there is one more thing we can examine here look for a refrigerator over behind you let's see oh, no nope. i said shit thames for men by calvin klein so by the way here's our map of the uh thames right here which sells us on the scale because of look at this thing i'm, I'm looking for that fridge Here's the armor ground, which is where we just were. Yeah, where's that fridge at? Uh, over behind you. Turn the camera. Over there, see? Gold nugget. <laughs> Had to do it. Had to do it. Yeah, I'm glad that you can do it. Passion, romance, smelling like rust and booze. Thames for man. By Giorgio Darmani. One. Oh! Oh! That's fine. Oh! Don't know why. That's... Yeah, that shouldn't be... Yeah. Why was Nugget not a permitted term? 
Yeah, I don't know. That's overzealous. Oh, I know, because nugget means poop. Giorgio is just Groff under an alias selling perfume. Right. No, his real alias is Gaius von Balesar. Right. Okay, we, ha we, we got what we needed. Yeah, here. otherwise this is the place where you would come to buy weapon and armor upgrades, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. So, we have the supply entrance, we have the screw elevator. The supply entrance is basically where we go to buy gear upgrades, and there's a couple other treasures we can find there. Which I think we're good on that already. Because we can do this at basically any time. Yeah. Where we want to go is basically the screw elevator if we want to do progress. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Ellie, want to take the elevator? Faye just makes like a kappa. Has, has that, that bad joke dog face? <laughs> the one that's like the two, the one that's like the three wolves and the one in the middle just looks absolutely dumb with the other two shit. Pretty much. Cats! Yeah. Also a giant gun. In the back? Yeah child standing at the barrel of the giant gun. A lot of moving parts here. You can see the cargo moving around and stuff. And you yeah. can see like the mesh to the metal of the floor as well. That's a neat touch. Like again, this area is super, super cool in how it's detailed and stuff. Serpent G-Whip. So that's a new weapon for Bart's gear. Nice. And this is the man we talked to at that terminal for gear upgrades. I think he's selling the same parts as uh, on the Idrisil shop. He just might have something different for the weapons. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. Oh, no, it's exactly the same. Never mind then. Yeah, it is all exactly the same. All right, then we're good to go. Oh, coming in. Five, okay. Big ass knife. Clearly a knife meant for a mech. Call that a knife? No, this. This is a knife. Gof.jpg. Right. I think I can hop on Ooh. a shotgun here. Oh, you missed something. Yeah, no, there's a treasure chest on top of that. Yeah, you're supposed to like jump under it and it uh, knocks it off. Oh. So now I'll just wait for it to pass by again. Now it's gonna take a minute. I think that's it right there. Yep, there you go. Micah. Actually, we might want to equip that real quick on uh, Wealth Hall and Vierge. Because if I remember correctly, the upcoming boss fight is going to be using electricity, and it's kind of a mean one. Okay, we have Micah and Wealth Hall already. Let's replace the light armor. Done. Headphones real quick. Okay. There's another entrance to the screw elevator. We can just take that. Yeah, I'm trying to get up on top of this. Uh... Let's see. You want to basically go up onto that uh, balcony up there. Yeah. And cross over on the rifle. Up down there, that's going to make it where I can't get to that anymore. Uh. What are you. Oh, okay. No, you wanted to go to the right. You wanted to go the other yeah. direction. Now my phone's falling. All right, and walk over. Uh, yep, jump right up there. Ooh, yeah, cause the. Okay, good. Lunar rod. That is a new weapon for Ellie. I believe that's also one of the rare few that uh has status ailments added to it. Nice. 
I think it adds slow, I believe. Uh, we can check that right now, actually. Alright, that's for Ellie, not her gear. Yep. Oh, sleep. sleep. I had a feeling it was gonna be sleep. Yeah, because Lunar Rod. Yeah. Makes sense. And. Duh, duh, duh. Oh, yeah, this whole place is like OSHA would have a fucking fit when it, if it saw all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, but at the same time, the messiness lends to the idea that, like, uh, that this is a place that is made pure, that is just like a whole sloppy situ, uh, like, very slapdash setup of a bunch of salvagers just pulling up a bunch of, uh, stuff from, like, underseas and what have you. Like, it sells this area more that it's all this messy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going into this. Yeah, the right elevator. Now. Oh, it is absolutely. I yeah. love this place. Like, uh, there is one other town we have not seen yet that I would say is arguably one of my personal favorites, but everything to do with this town is just so cool. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, please don't spin it. Oh, please don't split it. So we want to actually examine the the uh, the doorway, because that's how we select our floor. We want to go to the beer hall, because we haven't been there yet. Don't spill the wall. He only says that if you talk to him before you select the floor. Good. And we have the aptly named beer hall, which is a massive hall where you get beer. And presumably also food, but mostly beer. Oh yeah, they even comment on it if you talk to them. They talk about how they're not allowed to drink, so they don't get any of it. But there's a couple of them trying to schmooze up to get beer. Men are stupid. They're so happy with that crap. Child, you are seven. Don't talk shit if you're not old enough to know how good a Sapporo tastes. Right. I've never been on dry land since I was born. Think about it. You have dirt on your feet. How can you do that? So there are people who are just been who have been born on and lived in this place their entire lives. No, nope, I'm not old enough to drink it. There's nothing better than a drink after work. Hey, hey, I've never seen you working around here. Huh? Well, don't worry about the details too much. Oh man, I'd die for this glass of booze. Hey, how many times do you plan on dying? No kidding. <sighs> oh, this guy. Want me to teach you? What is he teaching me? Do you want to find out? Yes. Really? Well, I'll teach you then. <laughs> You thought I'd battle right off? Get real. Only fast do well at this game. It's a card game for Men of the Sea. So this is a mini game we can only play here in the Thames. Basically, this is the this is more or less just the real life card game speed. Oh god. Place four cards. Yeah. You've been playing Clubhouse games, so. For anyone who doesn't know, this is basically like a card matching mini game where you have two cards on the side and you have to place a corresponding card. Up to here, I do automatically, but from here on, the game starts. You must take your first four cards and then the remaining 21 cards and place them all on top of the two center cards faster than your opponent can. Of course, there are certain rules for placing the cards. Place a card on top of another card, and it is numerically in order. If it is numerically in order, like one number higher, in this case where there's a four, three, you play a four, or one number lower. In this case where there is a four, you can play a three. But if the numbers aren't in order, yeah, yeah can't play the card but if there is a k 13 you can play an a and vice versa because k and a stand for king and ace yeah 
Now I'll teach you how to control the cards. First, to move a card from your deck into an empty position in the hand of four cards in front of you, use left and right on the directional button to pick the position. So it's basically just saying run to the empty slot and press any button to place your card. And to play a card, move on top of the card you want to play. And press the triangle button or R1 button to play on the right. Or press the square button or L1 button to play on the left. Is there any reason for this? You do get prizes for this. They're mostly just kind of decent accessories, but you can completely ignore this. Like, personally, I don't think it's really worth the time because these can go on for a while. Did you yeah. really have to clear out an entire cargo get this deck to set up the giant card game? Yes! In this case, there will be a call of 1-2, and a card will be played directly from your remaining pile of cards if one card cannot be played. 1-2. If both players still can't play, this will be repeated. I think I'll do without this. Yeah. Because this is not, like... If there are no remaining co now if this was uh now if this was hey you want to play Richi Mahjong I imagine you would be more about that. I mean Yeah, no. With the way that this game is handling this, I feel like it would be a very convoluted way to play Richi. Probably. Leftmost cards. So yeah, this is saying if you don't have any backup cards in your deck, one two will just pick a random card starting from the left. Yeah. First player to use up all their cards wins. In this case, you lose. Oh, and one more thing. By pushing the select button, you can quit a game midway through, but this will mean you lose. <laughs> all too eager to get out of this. <laughs> by the way, there are lots of good players on board the Thames, or Thames. How about we start by playing our mate here? No thanks. I think I'll do without, good sir. Yeah. Uh, I think the prizes you get for winning are just accessories that boost your accuracy and evasion, but you can, again, easily do without these. Yeah. Okay, so who do I need to talk to here? You need to go into the bridge, which is over to the north side, going by the this compass. One? Or, oh. No, that's the screw elevator. Yeah, I'm just getting to this. There we go. Now, who here looks like a captain? Uh, this hanging. Co oh, that's a dolphin guy. This scruff McGruff looking motherfucker. Welcome to yet another example of Xenogears having some of the best side characters in any fucking RPG. You are the two winnows who floated in with the gears. I think he's meant to be a walrus. I don't really like wandering around. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I gotta see how you mean on Well, walrus. don't take it so badly. For us, anything we pull out of the sea is treasure. And you're a really big important treasure. We were really careful. Um, thanks for helping. Oh, uh, what a pretty lady. Oh, don't make that face. I won't bite. I'll return your gears to you squeaky clean. Why are you being so kind? You really want to know? That's because... I am... A man... Of the, of the sea. sea! I knew it. Uh... I just imagine Faye like, he is so cool. Ellie is just like, oh, what is today? You're probably starved. I'll get you some food. I wonder what the guys are up to. <laughs> Whole room's on fire. <laughs> Hans! I'll welcome the guests. You take care of the rest. Yes, sir. Just don't overdo it. Oh, of course I know that. How can you be so calm? Ah, the captain and everyone are so irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me go and get things ready.
It's probably melted like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I know. I should probably put this in the, uh... Yes. Because it's, like, almost turning to foam. Yep. Curdling. Hold on a sec, people. Uh, One small quick BRB. I don't even a BRB. You just... Oh, I'm... Getting I'm up. Hopping up as well. All right, sorry about that. Uh, and we're back. Now we want to go back out to the beer hall. And right back out we go. There he is. Took you a while, but things aren't ready yet. Sir, it's been seven seconds. Hey, hurry it up. Don't make our guests wait. Sorry, there's no place to sit around here. Also, I like that all the chairs are gas cans. Oh, yeah, they are just a bunch of jerry cans. They are. But isn't the view just splendid from here? This beer hall is the Thames Pride. Recycling. Pretty much. Oh, you probably think it's a wee bit peculiar having a beer hall right next to the bridge, but tis fine by me. No shit. If you don't take the time in life to enjoy a drink, you will be swallowed by the waves of anxiety. I like this man. Mm. But we don't have that problem. Thanks to this beer hall, everyone here is too sloshed to worry. Are you always wandering the seas like this? Well, normally. There is that crane that fished you out. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I. The captain of the Thames is amazing. We use that or the gears to pull up treasure from the sea. We're salvagers. Recently, however, there's been almost no treasure. Just little things. Meanwhile, off in the distance, you just hear some, like, 15-year-old kid with a northerner accent shouting as he jumps out in a diving bell. Right. Since we started the big job, well, that's all we had. So I want to take a moment to point out something going on in the window. At the window there? That's just fish. There's okay. just fish jumping outside. Big job. Oh, that's a job for the Ethos. The Ethos is planning a really big salvage next. I don't know the details, but looks like we'll be searching for some buried treasure. Why is the Ethos involved? Who knows? But we're dependent on the Ethos to buy our stuff. Though it won't look good if we turn the job down. Well, dinner's finally ready. Let's see. Like, much as I did make that joke legitimately- Oh! We've got sonar. That's not it. This type. It matches with the Isle of Pirate ship Yggdrasil. Oh, boy! Remember her? Yep. Yggdrasil. Wasn't she sunk in another battle? There's no record of it sinking. We were too busy fighting that red gear to try and confirm it. And there's a chance it did not sink. I believe the data shows the Yggdrasil was the carrier for that gear. 
I think Kilvana. Oh, I accidentally gave her name earlier, but Oops. she's not actually a fish. She's meant to be like psychic, basically, because it's stated in the perfect works. She keeps her eyes shut like that as a means of suppressing her absurd ether powers. Excellent. Give me the controls. Excellent. What are you planning on doing? For a very brief moment, it looked like she opened her eyes. Sink it, of course. She will never trouble the commander again. Oh yeah, no, it is horrifying. Because they're like totally like uniform and like darkened. Ooh. Wait. The commander's orders were to investigate the disappearance of that flying battleship. We can't deviate from our mission. Besides, we are low on fuel and need to refuel. We have enough. I'll take her down. Uh, once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? I hope you know that fighting in water is totally different than fighting on land. She don't give a shit. She's like the mum car of this team. Of course. Sorry, Kalina. You see pretty, like, first five seconds how Mumkar is. Yeah. Just stupid decision after stupid decision. I don't want to die, but I, but I let my friends die for me. And then immediately he runs into every Zelda Breath of the Wild player's biggest fear. Right. Like, all that scene was missing was the, like, sudden frantic piano keys winding up. I know you haven't eaten in a while, but how can you eat so much? <laughs> this is great. This is great. I like how you eat. You aren't drifting around for nothing. Men have courage and have appetites. Also, I just noticed he has a peg leg. Look at his feet. He only has yeah, one boot. No, I know. Just take it in the moment. <laughs> this man. This man. <laughs> huh? Did we just shake? Uh, you're just imagining it. I don't think so. Captain, your first mate is calling you. Got it. I'm on the way. Uh, looks like something's up. Sorry, but I have to return to the bridge. But please, enjoy yourselves. Ellie, is that a water spout? It's too far. I can't see very well, but it looks like a battle. Men have obligations to see to! <laughs> Pretty much. Let's go to the bridge, too. Okay. Just, oh, yeah, she just kind of popped in like that. Kind of like in Hilux 2. Hi, hello. Is there a little secret up here? Somewhat, if we go talk to that kid over there. If we stop being bad at, at walking on pipes for a second. What do you mean, we? We being me and this NPC here. Hey, man, I got a good cure for drinking too much. You get Pencil. a free... Okay. Yeah, you get a free uh, ailment recovery item, basically. Nice. I can rock that. Yeah, I like when NPCs give you free shit. They've got guts starting a fight next to the Thames. Uh, gets my blood boiling. Oh, boy. Hey, Hans, I haven't fired the big gun in a long time. How about we take a shot or two? I know exactly what's going on. Are you kidding? Why get the Thames involved in a fight between sides who are neither enemies nor allies? And that big gun is nothing but a useless piece of junk you tacked onto the Thames in a drunken stupor! You just don't understand the code of the men of the sea. Men, strap guns to their boats! What are you doing? Uh, it seems like a submarine is under attack. Submarine? And they're about to find out what exactly is going on. Yeah, because I think you already know what's happening. Yeah, it's kind of... Yep. Obvious. Yep, 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 yep. 
There's your so-called water spouts. That's the Principality of Sion logo. Wait. That Wait. shit. I think we already made that joke. Yeah, no, but I'm just gonna keep making that joke. Fair enough. Running gags. Running gags. That's the Eekrasil. That's the assholes who shot me down. Twice! <laughs> Isn't that Bart ship? That's what I just said. Yeah, he's still alive. All right. We can't just sit here. Let's go. Uh, go where? Where, bitch? Where are we going? <laughs> that dumb old meme using a Hunter x Hunter pick. Uh, I hate that so much. To help, what else? Without a gear. This is in the way? Uh, not really. Okay. Huh. Hold your horses. Doc, this is the bridge. How are our guest skiers? Oh, he's even thinking ahead on that shit, too. The repairs will be done shortly. Two minutes. What a fucking bro. Huh? Finish in two minutes. Captain Jamie Heineman's fuck being a bro over here. Look at that. Then take them out through the supply entrance to the deck. Yes, sir. Your gears are being moved to the deck. Go get them. If you need to, you can buy equipment at the supply entrance shop. Already done it. What are you saying, Captain? What if we get bombed while we're caught in the middle of a fight? Be quiet. Our guests are fighting to save their friends. Don't get in the way. If we don't help, it'll tarnish the men of the sea's good name. Wait for it. Yes, sir. But the Thames itself will not join in any fights. Wait for it. Thanks. That's more than enough. Blue bald. Yeah. I was hoping he'd say, men, fight for the friends. Let's see. The uh, precursor to Blossom Jimmy. Dance. Right. Uh, so we want to go to the deck. Yeah, let's say. Gonna... <laughs> That's me. So this is also your last call to uh, stock up if you haven't. Save, of course, because we're going to be going right into a boss fight. I think we're good to go, but for the most part. Yeah, because, again, th these encounters are scaled per whatever gear upgrades are readily available. So yeah, usually yeah. if you wind up losing, it's because you need to think about, like, oh, I should have healed more, or oh, I should have put on this uh, accessory that lets me uh, resist an element that the boss uses. Which we're already good on that. Yeah. But for posterity's sake... We do want to save, just yeah, to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only downside is because this came out well before skipping cutscenes became the norm. That means if you die in a gear fight, that means you have to sit through all the dialogue all over again. Dude, there are games that still fucking do that. There are? Absolutely, and I hate... Like, I love them, but I hate them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, even Kagura is confirming, like, there are games that will still do that. Oh, why? All right, boys, let's do this. Let's go. Ellie, you got the whelp group on, whelp groups on the right. Wait. Woo. Leroy. Just taken right off. Pretty much. Oh, come on, Shitan. Just when I thought we were saved, now we're gonna be turned into Swiss cheese. Wait, Swiss was capitalized. That means the concept of Switzerland is a thing in this world. What the fuck? Huh. We're just gonna ignore that. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend that's not a thing. Hey, Ellie, you are all right. Somehow, <laughs> the fuck's a Swiss? There's no time for tearful reunions. Yeah, where's Bart? He is fighting below. He said he was going to hold them back until the depth charges were ready. But he left without the proper hydro preps. We're busy trying the t to ready the depth charges. Your gear should be able to handle underwater warfare to some extent. Go help him out. There's some weird mutant cow monster out there called a Swiss, and you can milk it. <laughs> yeah, this, just use that as an explanation. Got it. Ellie, let's go. 
So remember how last stream you were all about, wait, you're throwing fighting underwater at me? Oh, they're legit. Fighting underwater. Damn it. I can barely maneuver and you're moving all over the place. Looks like you're having a tough fight, Bart. The boys are back in town. Hey, you're alive. Hey, that's my line. What about that gear? Ooh, just grabs and stares in. Elaheim, how's it going? What are you doing here? Domina, why are you here? Why? We Gebler need no special reasons to sink an enemy ship. It is our divine duty to rule those class, crass, land-dwelling, la uh, land-dwelling lambs. We're tongue twister. But why? How are they different from us shepherds, the able? To me, lambs and able are the same. There's that emphasis again. The only diff, the only definite difference is personal ability. The ignorant must be led by the wise. That is our job. Look what you've gained as an element, Ellie. Why do you even question? Your superiority is obvious. So the wise harming the weak is a sign of ability? I didn't want that. That's all. Ellie, are you all right? He just comes in, socks her, socks her gear in the jaw. May as well. Dung. That gear, you're the one? <laughs> so that's how it is. How amusing, Elheim. All this for a man? I guess that story was true after all. You were born of those lowly lambs. Stop. Don't say another word. What are you going to do about it, mongrel? So basically accusing Ellie of being like mixed uh, Solaris lamb heritage. Go ahead, yeah. show me. Show me your true power. And considering I've mentioned the very real, very intentional, like Nazi Germany comparison Solaris has going on, her bringing that up has a few layers. I will. If you Gibbler are wise, then I'd rather be a fool. Then so be it. You shall be dealt with as the traitor you are. Come on, Elheim. Show me your true self. Just mocking the whole time. So by the way, take a quick moment to look at this uh, battle, Matt here. <laughs> Yeah, me. no, we are legit fighting on the bottom of the ocean right now. Yeah, but I mean, look at some of the stuff in the background. Oh, You see that? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's some environmental storytelling just, right there. Just waiting for the director to say the word. And no one brings it. it up either. And we got that shit. I, I love this. I love this so much. All, all the director has to do is literally say... Yes. <laughs> And that's it. Like, that's perfect. So yeah, the game plan with Ellie as usual is just blast the fuck out of this person, out of this one with Ether. I uh, think High Shao was... is a, I think it's safe to assume it's uh, attributed to water element because it is, because we're fighting underwater. So, yeah. well, I was going to say fire, but because it's doing the like Final Fantasy X thing with its elements. Oh, where it's like not 100% sensical. Where it's like fire and water oppose each other, but so do uh, wind and earth. Okay, okay. Nary Cyclone water attack. So there's a potential reason why you might want to take the ether defense uh, armors on the gears. This thing is also only single target, so okay. don't worry about like picking at anything. I know it looks like a big thing with a lot of moving parts, but a lot of gears are like that. And here's why we want the mica. Thankfully, this is also a melee attack, and you remember what Bart has? Counters. Or wild smile, sorry. Yes. Also, area attacks aren't worth using because they have a failure chance, and again, this is only one target. Yeah, no, I'm just... It's ta She's such a new mechanic that it's taken me a bit to remember. Yeah. 
Also, that was a significantly higher amount of damage. I think that was actually about the same. It's just that her spells have a damage range because the last one did like 700 something. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, Wild Smile. Reduce that accuracy. Yeah. And remember, Wild Smile stacks. I'm gonna build up into to a level two and probably do a bunch of level ones. I think Fate can actually do a level three now. Oh. Yeah, electric arm just missed. Well, let's keep throwing thermal cubes at her. Cube. Thermal sphere, thermo spheres, I should say, but eh. Young master, depth charges will be dropped. Please stand back. Wow, already? I thought this thing had more health. Oh, do we actually? Look at this fucking old Sky of Arcadia ultimate. And. By the way, that's not just entirely for show. After clearing this fight, that is now a special ability that Bart can use in his gear by spending fuel. The game doesn't actively tell you this, so that's why I'm saying it right now. No, it looked like a special, so... <laughs> that was nothing. Come on, come on! Enough already. Domina, retreat. I was so close. But... Don't think I'll be leaving empty-handed now. Just grab some building. Oh, uh. Or, what she does grab is... Are you fucking serious? We literally just got her. Ellie! She's not going to be gone for too long. I will tell okay. you that right now. That that anno still annoys the shit out of me. No, it's not going to be like Black Moon Forest where she's only with you for like uh, a little bit and only has like one mandatory fight. Okay, okay. Faye, where is Ellie? Uh, the enemy took her. <laughs> I doubt that. Bart, what do you mean? Stop it. Faye, this is no time for bickering. Ellie, for fuck's sake, stay with the party for more than one day. Right. For now, we must find a place to finish repairing the Yggdras Hill. <sighs> Don't worry. The ship that saved us is nearby. They call it the Thames, and it's about the size of a small city. Small city? Sure. Small. Oh, sure, okay. Their captain can help us. It's, it's just an aircraft carrier, man. It's just an aircraft carrier. That's all it is. <laughs> That's the Thames. Kind of slowly scoots up and he's here. Doom! As it bounces off the hole. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a place for our vessel to dock. Right. That's what it looks like. Well, they would probably need a base like that for if they send out, like, smaller craft to return to the larger, uh, home fleet. By the way, did anyone see that city underwater? Nope. Yeah, we're just not gonna talk about that. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave that on the on the cutting room floor. Actually, no, it's just foreshadowing. Mm. Because that is going to come up later. Okay, good. That is not for nothing. Good. So yet again, I was just I'm, pointing it out because it is foreshadowing. I so again, once again, I am justified in saying all the director has to do is say yes. Yes. That's just a natural coral formation, obviously. <laughs> Sorry about what I said earlier. It's all right. I was set vault too. I haven't seen you in such a long time. We shouldn't be fighting. <sighs> the Yggdrasil 2 was constructed so quickly you had no time to ready its depth charges. Also, it was my fault we didn't have depth charges because I prioritized the BART missiles over everything else. BART missiles? The, 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 well, they're not that great anyway. Huh? Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. I always knew you'd be alive. <laughs> of course, I'm Bart the Immortal. What are you trying to say? But uh, this time I got reamed by a red gear monster. A red gear? Yeah, he beat me and then left us to sink into the sand. But this next part sounds wild. We sank into this huge cave under the sand, and then a sand cruiser just like the Yggdrasil was there. 
We replaced the usable parts in the bridge and remodeled it. Frankly, I do not believe it myself. It looks the same, but it can float. Most likely, this is the Yggdrasil's prototype. People lived there long ago, and they had many weapons. That's how we got them. Bart already showed me. Those weapons are most likely from Shabbat. Shabbat. You mean the aerial... Uh, more importantly, we should say ahoy to the captain. Yeah. Okay, so... Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Bart, I believe that this story more if you pulled that ship this ship out of your ass. Also, don't worry about that. That's just uh, environmental details. No, I know. It's just like still uh, uh. probably because you've been there before. Yeah. I didn't want to get her involved. You mean Margie? Sorry, I know I promised that if anything happened, I protect Margie and the people of Nissan. You're worried about that? It's OK. You've had it tough, too. I made it okay, that's my job. When the Yggdrasil's fixed, I'm going on straight ahead. Of course, I know Nissan's in danger. But since everything's messed up there, I thought now would be a good time to sneak in there. I didn't plan on taking her along, as long as I knew she was safe. But I certainly doubt Shakan would just stand by and do anything, and do nothing. That's what the people from her sect said, too. But it's still risky, so they say they want me to stay close to her and protect her. Really? And you're okay with that? Yeah. I see you've brought along another strapping young lad. I'm Bart. Thanks for letting my ship dock here. <laughs> this is great! You come to ask about this ship? Uh, my submarine Yggdrasil was attacked- was damaged by an enemy attack. It'll be out of operation for a little while. Bart, you're terrible. You went on without me. Ah, uh, Margie, just when I'm starting to sound like a captain. I get away from the Nissan, but then I'm stuck on the Yggdrasil. I'm sick of it. A uh, 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 captain Hi, I'm Marguerite. Oh man, look, we're having a man-to-man -man talk here. Wait for I'm waiting for the captain just to interrupt and be like, "Sir." So, Margie, <laughs> why don't you go back to the Yggdrasil? You're terrible. You're starting to sound like Sig. What? Me like Sig? You're always so thoughtless, Bart. Fang and the others were floating around because you fired on that craft impulsively. Whoa, it's stupid! You're not supposed to- Bart, you didn't- No, you didn't. It is true, Faye. Couldn't be helped. How could I have known you were- I'm so disgusted, I don't have anything to say. I have this My saved as a reaction exactly. image. I have that f specific frame saved as a reaction image. Yeah. Don't get so mad. I shouldn't have brought you out of this on. I heard that, you big jerk. <laughs> great, great. It's great to be young. Hey, kiddo, you're supposed to be some kind of pirate. Oh, yeah, a man of the sea. Uh, I was a man of the desert, but... You know, this whole sand thing feels like it's sort of worn its course. You know, it was funny at first, then it got amusing, but now it's just kind of played out. You know, we gotta move on to greener pastures. We just gotta let it lie. All right, even better. Yes, a man of the sea. Swing your arm. <laughs> Bart's right. I'll show you to our famous beer hall. Bart is 19, so he's old enough to drink in most countries apart from the United States. Yeah. My lady, may I borrow this fellow? This guy is like every enemy captain ever except the walrus. That's why he's so cool! Yo, what a weird guy. Hey, are you mad about Bart? No, that's not it. About Ellie, then. Yeah. It'll be all okay. Or it'll all be okay. 
if you're so worried, why don't you go rescue her? Just like Art helped me out. Zooms in, the little hamster wheel is turning in Faye's head. Right, he's just like, uh. So, on the. Look, look at this Star Fox over here. I was gonna, I thought you were gonna say Star Trek, and I would have agreed with you still. Uh, no, it looks like the. Well, not the Star Fox, Ooh. the Great Fox. Bitch slap. Cease your naive utterances. At least just sitting there going, What the fuck is your damage? Just speak like a normal person. Oh! I have no intention of discussing this matter further with you. Your traitorous actions are already apparent. I will beat you down right here. Stop it at once. Are you okay? Miang, what are you doing? She is a traitor. Such acts will not be allowed on a ship under Ramses' command. No matter the reason. I have examined the records of the battle between the Haishao and Vierge. From what I can tell, it was you who attacked first, wasn't it? She had no choice but to defend herself after you took it upon yourself to attack without permission. Above all, you were meant to be under Kelvena's command. Were you obeying Kelvena's orders? <sighs> you are not to prosecute any soldier for treason without proper authority. Even if you both are elements. Further... Isn't your attitude towards the lieutenant nothing more than your own personal prejudice? Or am I mistaken? What? I would never... Thanks, hang in there. Thanks, hang off my computer, please. Yes. Thus far, we still cannot determine whether or not she is guilty of treason. To investigate the truth of this matter further, I am placing the lieutenant under my supervision. Is that clear? How dare you! By what authority? Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! You see that? Let's go. Oh yeah, no, that was definitely... That was intentionally part of the game, I will say that, in case that was any, uh, concern. But, uh, what was that? Those eyes. She was definitely going in for something. I see. So that's what was going on. Since I have other matters to attend to... Would you mind staying here for a while? Not at all. You don't have to worry about a thing. Leave the rest to me. What you need is to recover from your fatigue. Oh, there we go again. Crystalline. Blue. Like the surface of a lake. Uh, excuse me? Your eyes. They're beautiful. What? Okay. Thank you. Here's the engagement report between Hai Shao and the enemy gear. This is the... I'm sure of it. It's currently at Thames, if not somewhere in the ocean nearby. Change course! Head for Thames. Wait. Their mothership, Yggdrasil, seems to be able to submerge. If they submerge, they'll have the upper hand on Haishao. Any attack we might make would just be wasted since they could simply dive. If we eliminate that function first, it's still not too late. I've already made the proper arrangements. Arrangements? 
Yes, sir. All right, we'll try it your way. Thank you, Commander. By the way, what happened between you and Domina? She was livid. You just hear muffled off in the distance. Just, you just hear like a pot plant shattering. Those girls work hard, especially for you. It's my job to be hated. Just the moment she says that, you hear like a glass shattering and just muffle in the distance. I'm gonna go to my room and play some booty jams real loud. That'll show them. No, you just hear like Mick Gordon's soundtrack chanting as she just goes to vent by playing Doom. Hey. Would it be too much to ask for you to go and call him back for me? Oh, no problem. He's probably whining and dining with the captain of the Thames. So we just gotta go find Bart and get his ass back here. Okay, well, we're gonna take this opportunity to take a quick break. It yeah. is about that time. Yeah, quick, actual, real, real break. So we'll be right back. Yep. My butt hurts.
and, and we are back. Yep, yep. And we are back, and I fixed a slight audio issue. That was purely my fault, but it's fixed now. And now we are off to more or less uh, go back to the beer hall yet again to find Bart and the captain. Yep. Oh, I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to go up the ladder. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh, it's no big deal. So, yeah, we don't have to talk to this. Oh, neat. We don't have to talk to this guy every time. So, okay. Yeah, we want to go to Beer Hall. No, oh, no. No, no. We have to talk to that guy. He needs to know that we're about to spin this bitch. He needs to suffer. Because we don't have Dan here, we have to make him suffer. <laughs> they came out one after another. Slam. Bam. Crash. That's how it happened. Okay, were they like, not really? I showed up at a, I showed up and just like punched the guy in the dick, and then we just kind of ran, and then we ran, then we ran into this girl, and then we just got out of there. And then we kept running. Hey Bart, Sigrid was waiting for you. <laughs> of course, if you're not strong, you can't be a man of the sea. Wait for it. Yeah, check this arm out. Proof. Of the men of the sea. I was waiting for it. Uh, I like that little detail of a gear just jumping off the deck there. Yeah, because they're all jumping into the ocean to salvage. Captain, your first mate is calling for you. Mm. Uh, let me fix that right quick. Oh, yeah, no, just adjusting some stuff. Bear with me one moment. There you go. Oi, he's interrupting our Men of the Sea story. That Hans, he's such an unrefined chap. What does he want now? Our lady seems to have returned. Our lady? Oh, you mean Ellie. Oh, why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, well, let's go. Suddenly a little too eager there. Uh, where's Ellie? Eh, she's seen to the gear. She'll be along any time now. You mean... she was able to escape? Well, it's good for you, right, Faye? Uh, yeah. That is too weird. Ellie, are you okay? Yeah. Hmm... Uh. What's that submarine? Oh, uh, you mean the Yggdrasil. It took a bad bashing, so now it's here at the Thames for repairs. I see. Can I rest for a while? I'm exhausted. Was your eyes always... Uh, that's a good idea. Hey, it's my ship. Oh, oh, wait. she said she's tired. Let her rest. Well, I'm going. I don't like this. Bart, you're still... It's not like that. She won't backstab us. I was raised around thugs and charlatans. I can tell just by looking in her eyes. Then you accept Ellie. That's why I can't. She may be okay with it. But what about her family back home? Do you think she can live with that? Can she do that? Just get rid of her family? She has to decide. She... 
Ellie is probably worrying about that. We can't involve people who have attachments. Bart. <laughs> well, do whatever you want. Because keep in mind, uh, A doesn't have anywhere to go. Chitan doesn't have anyone at Solaris he's worried about anymore because he uh, defected long ago. Yeah. And Rico has, like, nothing going for him back in Kislev. He was a prisoner. So Ellie is the only one who actually has family. She's actually talked about how uh, her relationship with her parents for a little bit how, and how her dad is apparently top brass in the military. And now it's just kind of like, uh... Defecting against decadence. Yeah. And that's what Bart is getting at, because he's like, things are going to get sloppy if she actually tries to go against what has basically been the her home country and her entire livelihood for the past 18 years of her life. Because Ellie is 18. Right. So I'm going to assume we're going to go back to... Back to the dock. Gotcha. Spin. I'm getting slightly better at that, I think. Like, not quite perfect, but close enough. God, no, no just for context, no, de no deck should be springy like this. Especially when you do that. It's not, it's not properly secured. Which lends, I, I mean, it lends to the fact that this whole place is kind of a big piece of crap, but... It's still like, please. All right, so I think if we talk to Sigrid, we get that line I thought we would get earlier. Probably. Young Master, where did you go while we were so busy? An international goodwill visit with the Thames. Well, whatever. Now, about those supplies for the submarine. Oh, that? Let me see. Order an additional 16 torpedoes. God damn it. Yes, sir. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you just vocalized Sigrid's internal thoughts right there. Yeah. So, it's not wholly clear what we want to do, but we want to go to the gun room, or as you were calling it, the bar. Depends on who you talk to. It's all the same. I mean, that's what they call it in-game, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Requisition additional DACA. Right. I mean, that is Bart's modus operandi. And you remember the engine room from, uh, that I showed you way back? Yeah. We want to check that out. So we're going down, 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 down. To... It's to the north from here. Yeah, just these stupid fucking... Angles. Like, this is something that would fare much better in a more open 3D space, like, uh... What more modern games do with their camera angles? What's up? Mortal! Huh? Huh? Hey, miss! I heard you got caught. Are you okay? Easy, mortal. It's just a Solarian girl. You don't need to bark. It's an animal, so it can't help it. By the way, the first mate wants to see you. Oh. Oh, I see. Sorry. So... So I was noticing something off when I said there's something up with their eyes, right? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something's going on here. Ellie! Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Ellie! I knew it all along. This mall's a mole. Damn it. What the hell did she do? What am I gonna do? Mr. comes in and is like, yeah, no, I got this. Doc, 
What is this? Wait. Do not worry about her. Stopping this is our priority. There. How's this? If anyone knows how to work machines, it's the doc. Yeah. Okay, and the, all those massive rods go back down, but the damage has sadly been done. Uh, we can click on Ellie, so if we want to check on her... We'll just walk all over her body. And she has a unique eyes closed portrait specifically for this part. Yeah. Talk to Shaitan here. He was given some strong hypnosis. Hypnosis? It is a special hypnotism that makes a person behave in a pre-programmed way. A special condition serves as a switch to act, but until then, no strange behavior can be detected. So that's why Miang let her go so easily, because she mentioned making arrangements to get rid of the uh, Yggdrasil's ability to descend. Fair enough. She looked strange when she left the med base, so I followed her. Chitan, if you thought it was suspicious, you should have stopped her. Well, if you forcibly stop the behavior while imprinting. Occasionally, it destroys the mind. But it is true I reacted a little late. So basically, he was afraid that if he stopped her before things happened, he would basically scramble her brain like an egg. Yeah. So he was kind of forced to make to let it happen. Well, uh, what's going on? Young master, have you done it again? Oh, like how they're just like, did you screw it up again? Bart, what did you do this time? It may take a while to fix it. I was just trying to make her purr. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, Anyhow, we will take her to the medical room first. I probably could have talked to Bart or the... Yeah, you could have talked to the engineer, en engineer there. there. And uh, he appears to be... And if you do talk to him, all he really says is that he apparently understands straight away if you tell him that it was hypnosis. And he's just like, man, fuck Solaris. <laughs> there are no... The hypnotist must have been a good one. There are no mental scars. So now we want to run back to the med bay, but before we do, we should probably save. Oh, we about to get another big talking one? We're probably about to go into another boss fight, maybe, probably. Okay, gotta remember where the hell the save point is. It's by the door. There we go. Having a sleepy day, don't mind me. Okay, so now we're going to the med bay, which if I remember correctly is... It's one of the doors across yeah. from the uh, bolts. No, we just passed it. East. It has been a while since we were in here, and we really don't need to go to the med day for anything other than uh, a couple story scenes like this one. Right. She's just sitting on air, don't mind her. Uh, how in the world did I get here? Ellie. Young Master, the radar has picked up a huge gear. It's headed right for us. What? Them again? That shape looks like... Alright, I owe so much to the Thames, I can't let it get turned into a battlefield. Launch the Yggdrasil immediately, we go out in our gears. Yes, sir. Ooh. Hey, Shaitan, I'm counting on you. Wait. Ellie should rest here. We will... Wait! Because I came here, this all happened. This is my responsibility, so let me go too. Ellie. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you remember what you just did? Young one! Ellie, our trust in you depends on this battle. For your honor, you should fight. So Shaitan's trying to give her a second chance. But Shaitan, I... Meanwhile, Bart's just like, nah, son, nah, 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 fuck you. 
Young one, please trust Ellie this time. But if she shows it outright, he's kind of got no choice. Ellie, if you try anything suspicious, I will be the one to shoot you. Is that clear? Yes. Is that okay with you, young one? All right. Hey, Ellie, let's go. I feel like Sigurd should be the one talking in that situation, but... I mean, both kind of fill the role of being, like, the moderators. At work. So here is your last mercy to, like, adjust your equipment before getting into this uh, thing. We're still a little damaged. Oh, yeah, but... we didn't refuel. Shit. That's fine. We'll be we fine. We will probably be okay. Uh, shit. No, I was going to say check Bart's equipment because he still has stuff that's meant specifically for desert combat on uh, Brigandir. Oh, shit. We could have given him, like, the O2 cylinder. If you hadn't been around... Uh, sure I'll we'll never forgive you. You. She's going for the, uh... Char from Gundam Wing situation? Traitor! She kind of is basically the Char to Ellie's uh, Amuro. Here they come. Hey, that's... Going in for a slap fight. Let's go. So here's our fight against the aptly named Blade Gash, and here's our gimmick right off the bat. It will imbue itself with one of the four elements of the game. However, I think if we attack it, it will counter immediately. So what we can do, however, is... Well, first we need to be... Uh, let Ellie have a turn. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't letting me select charge. Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. I think you might have also been pushing the wrong buttons. You are having a sleepy day. No, it, there was definitely a situation where I could So, uh, remember, the opposing element to Earth is wind. So, a Nemo. Yeah, also, Kyra brings up a good point. Funny enough, each of the elements, as in the element's unit, represents an element, too. Technically, Domina represents Earth, but because she is the leader, she has access to all of them. Kelvana, right. who we saw earlier, is uh, water. There is a minor recurring theme of... Yeah, Earth Sword Gone. Fair enough. There is a minor recurring theme of the four elements in this game. And I will get more into that a little bit later. That's why I thought she was the fish girl, because uh, Kelvana is water. Water Sword. Oh, so she just straight, straight up wastes her turn doing this. Yes. So, just gonna keep charging. However, she gets her next turn very quickly after. Only about 400 damage, though. Yeah, no. Okay, so... So, if she hasn't popped uh, her imbue, you may as well just go to town. Also, remember, uh, Wild Smile is a thing. Yeah, no, I already used it. And her uh, imbue is gone, but if you use Ether while her imbue is not active... She gets an imbue for that for that element for free. Okay, so when she actually uh, unusually damp sword. <laughs> hey, she hit me with snowflakes. Okay, so when she makes her attack, that imbuement is done. Yeah. Okay. So that means I can literally go. Yeah. So this is sort of like. Uh, so I'm guessing this is like getting your like uh, MMO brain slightly active. Yeah. Because this is like Voln stack shit. Yeah. Yeah. Brain just for some reason processed that as an attack. Okay, so I should be able to. Yeah, now you can attack with impunity. Water, Water sword. sword again. I mean, we are at sea. This is a good place to be doing it. So go for fire. Okay, so. Kill. Give, give me a quick like. Element, like, element circle going on here. What's weak against what, against what, against what? It's less a circle and more uh, two opposing elements. It's sort of like uh, innate and Chrono Cross. Okay. Or, like I mentioned before, like uh, Final Fantasy X, kind of. Fire and water are always opposed to each other, as are wind and earth. And there's only those four elements in the entire game. Okay, so more or less how they're is set right now, just do the opposite side of that. Yes, line. exactly. Okay. So it's not like a, a rotating like circle or something. It's not like Pokemon types. It's just one. there is always one element that opposes the other. Or SMT, but yeah. There, there, uh, I believe SMT kids have... Oh, oh Demi circles. kids? Yeah, yeah that's one kids. of the ones I never played. Oh, I think she got a fire imbue. I think she only does that when her HP is particularly low. Already? 
Well, I'm just gonna keep wild smiling. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, let's see if that helps. She just dips it in the ocean. It's not that fancy. Right. Oh! 235. I think that counts as an ether attack, actually, because that did, like, twice as much to Bart. But that also means Wild Smile kind of does nothing then. All right, well, let's just... Yeah, did out, you then. see him fight Fizz 6? He literally went through it before the next phase because he just kept blasting <laughs> it with all these ether. <laughs> okay, so she's currently not imbued, so we're just gonna... You could also do a death blow because Ellie only has the one uh, gear death blow. Gotcha. Because we didn't get a lot of her character death blows because right, we right. haven't had a chance to off-screen grind with her. Uh, yeah, I think we're safe on that still. She blocked it, though. God, for someone whose evasion is supposed to be nerfed, she's blocking quite a bit. So she is kind of a glass cannon. Yeah. Okay, wind sword. That means we want to go with earth. Yep. Uh, assuming Ellie gets her turn. 470. On Ellie? On Faye. Let's okay. do a level two death blow. We might finish this. Yeah, let's go, uh, Ryu 10. Yeah. She just sidestepped that. Excuse me. Rude. Rude and unnecessary. I'm going for guaranteed damage. Uh, but death blows have fairly high accuracy, I believe, so. I mean, she kind of just proved it just, otherwise. Just, 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 just give it a chance. Besides, you have, I think Wild Smile only stacks up to five times anyway, and you're at like three or four, so. We're going to kind of wasting Bard's Ether at this point. We're going to keep it. Wind Sword again. Let's hope Ellie gets her turn. Uh, she won't. Faye will get it before hers. Flooded Falcon, uh, oh. Beach Broad Sword. Okay, so okay, that, was, so that wind? was wind, so you want to use Terra Lance. Terra Lance. All right, remember it. And you are done. done. You called it, yeah. Seems like that went down a bit too fast for the big, the main event, doesn't it? And oh, Bart there's gets, there's definitely a phase two. And Bart gets a level up. There's almost always a phase two. Yeah. And we get a strength drive. Remember, those things were a big deal earlier, and now they're just like our stat-up items for no reason. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. <sighs> she doesn't know when to quit. You're right. She doesn't. What? I mean, she clearly got that fist-shaking, like, uh, shit from Ramses, considering how much she looks up to him. Yeah, now she's, like, throwing rocks at the boat, like, like a kid at, at, at geese. Uh, wait, at geese? What yeah, you fucking know. psychopathic kids did you grow up with? I would have said in an old building. Why geese? Because you're kid. Because it's a kid and it's and they're stupid. Yeah, but there's being stupid and then there's just being rude to animals. So we're facing the high shot again, but this time with Ramses piloting it. Miang, is that him? Also, geese will probably just murder those fucking kids. So they're so they really are just stupid. Yeah, geese are assholes. One of them is just going to run up to that kid and then just honk out, Rapukin, and then just flip it over. Yes, he's in the black gear in the center there. Right, I've got him. He's breaking out the tall geese. I've been looking for you, my arch rival. I just imagine Faye just going, oh my god. Oh no, it'd be even funnier if, uh, if it you just- You again, if yeah. He, oh god, it'd be just even funnier if he just goes, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Faye just like has well tall like lean over to the side and start making like jerking off motions as like Ramses is talking like you do when you're speaking with someone on the phone who clearly doesn't want to wrap it up. Oh, I just do the little mouth talky thing. I'm you just probably like, do that too. Oh, God, dude, just shut up, please. I see you have a different machine. So what happened to your other gear? What are you talking about? Already provoking it out. Not to matter. At any rate, until I eliminate you, there will never be any light for me. So, we have Hai Shao, and this time he has Miang backing him up once again, only this time in her gear. It's never named in-game, it only gets called Miang's gear. But oh, I believe shit! Also, yeah, that's why this fight is super fucking tense. All right. So. But yeah, I was saying we cannot target Miang just like in the on foot fight. So we can only fight Hai Shao, who is a single target. Gotcha. Just like in the previous fight, she will support Ramses by healing him and by removing uh, debuffs. 
Gotcha. So, so it's still worth using Wild Smile because a turn she spends removing debuffs is one less turn she can be uh, healing him. I want to point out that I'm pressing down. I think it's because it's like, even though you can't see it, it's sort of like it's listed, kind of like in Final Fantasy. Right. All right, 741. I like to imagine Calvana is still there and Rams just shoves her out of the way and is like, move, it's my turn! I mean, considering how much of a murder boner he has for Faye, you have to imagine that's exactly what he did. And she's just like sitting there awkwardly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that big wind up. Just shoo, shoo. Shoo, yeah, Wild shoo. Smile, even though it gets removed uh, periodically, Wild Smile still does a lot. Also, we might want to do Booster because, again, we're just using spells as Ellie, so we may as well give her haste. Fuck the fuel. Fair enough. We can also do it with uh, Faye and Bart, but since we now have give it one more uh, level fixed frames to worry about, I do wonder. I think we actually didn't give Bart a fixed frame, so we may as well no. just do Booster. And since he's uh, doing Wild Smile support. Yeah. Yep, remove status. And yeah. it just reuses the uh, inner healing animation. Electric arm. Shoo. Woo. Shoo. Boy. Shoo. 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 You miss. Oh. Oh, he, and, and he hit Bart twice, so he just bullied the shit out of him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really wishing we would have uh, remembered to put. That's to, fine. We'll be fine. No, we won't. Let's see. Again, we can't target Miang as much as I would like for us to. No, I know. I'm just having to remind myself on a regular but yeah, basis. Uh, but, but like I was going to say earlier, her gear is just called Miang's gear in game, but in the perfect works, it is explicitly stated to be a unique uh, custom model of Vierge made specifically for Miang. So it's similar to the base model as uh, Ellie's gear, but it's a unique custom job. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna put it right back on you. Yeah, and again, that a turn that she spends removing Wild Shoo. Smile is a turn she can't spend. Shoo. It's still missed. Shoo. Ramses, what the fuck? Shoo. Oh, there we go. Ow. Shoo. At least he's not bullying Bart anymore. Yeah, no. I mean... Let's try going for a level two. Yeah, no, we, we have no choice. What are you then? It, need, it needs to be done now. Also, I like that the sound is muffled because we're underwater. Oh, that's a, that, that is indeed a nice touch. Like, some of the battle effects clearly aren't, but, like, the hit effects when we do melee clearly are. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ramses is just swinging his arms around wildly. It's like he got that, uh... What wait, the fuck? she's using thunder, so let's try Terra Lance. Well, electricity is a unique, uh... Attack to, property to only to, to certain like gear enemies. Well, it's done anyway. Okay, like good. I said, we'll be fine. Okay, good. You finish this. <laughs> yeah, you finish this really quick because this can turn into a very nasty damage race if you don't equip uh, yeah. electrical defense accessories. Is that all you've got to give? Well, too bad. No matter what, I can't let you live. See what, what makes it even funnier is like me going shoo. I I can't help but oh. imagine. Ooh. I can't help but imagine, uh, oh, f like every time it misses, Ellie and Faye both just going, shoo, shoo. Ah! Armor breach, water flooding cockpit, pilot vital signs are declining. He's trying to provoke the awakening. That or he's just trying to straight up kill him. Yep. And now for the coup de gras. Faye! Speaking of awakenings, though, let's go. And now we have unlocked Ellie's air rods. Good. We are now never going to go into a boss fight without using Ellie's air rods. Mm -hmm. These are straight up a literal, di uh, as they say on TV tropes, disc one nuke. This is one of the most damaging attacks for a while. <laughs> My main tank. I almost had him. Damn it. We have to retreat Miang. Hey! Tefei so got fucked up. Like they mentioned the water is that seawater is flooding the cockpit and they are how many meters underwater? Yeah, that's I don't know. But for now he's on life support.
We'll have to do this with the off tank. Right. No, I'm pretty sure the off tank is for like emergency situations for escapes. Probably. You mean he will be all right? I guarantee nothing. I don't know why he's like this in the first place. So about that level deficit, we're going to be able to close that now. And all it took was Faye being put into a coma. I was about to make the coma arc joke. Then there is Faye gets caught in the eternal Tsukiyomi. <laughs> at the infirmary in the Ethos headquarters. <laughs> I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Can you save Faye? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, easy. Step back a little bit. Personal space. I cannot guarantee it, but if we were to take him to the Ethos Headquarters Hospital, Church Hospital, a sentence I never thought I would say and fills me with an innate sense of dread, then we could save him. Here at St. Jude's. <laughs> I think that, I think then that he would most probably fall through all right. Unfortunately, ordinary citizens are only allowed into the main hall at the Ethos headquarters. You would have to become a monk or be introduced by someone in the Ethos. <sighs> ah, I just remembered. I heard that the Etone, a toners of sin, are coming to Thames from the Ethos HQ. What purpose does such etone from the ethos have here? Uh, they're coming here to do some type of investigation. Well, let's go become nuns, everyone. Yes, even you, Bart. Wait, hold on a sec. They just pick up. They just pick up Faye and have him suspended by strings. They're going, "Hey guys, I'm Faye. I'm alive too. I'm totally not in a coma. I'm here to become a nun." <laughs> <laughs> they just weekend at Bernie's him into the church. <laughs> There are, there are religious people from the Ethos who cleanse away the Reapers, or wells, that appear here in Akuvi. Ooh. Hmm. So why don't we ask them? I'll ask them if they can help us, but I don't know if they will. I guess there's no harm in asking, though. Alright, let's go look for them. I will go with Faye and the life support machines to the Yggdrasil. Bartonelli, you two go look for the Etone. Right. So they don't give us too much of a clear direction, but basically it's just look around the Thames. Oh, is, it, is, it, is that, le like, legit? Oh, we ha you will see in a bit. We will get some more information on what exactly wells are, but they are certainly fairly u a unique element of this plot. What's the name of our organization, Etone? How about we think of something cooler? Fine, what do you want to call it? How about Blue Umbrella? Yeah, that won't turn out bad at all, will it? <laughs> it's gonna get that loud sip in there, huh? Just for the effect. Or just Umbrella. Yeah, I still think just... The red blue umbrella thing from RE7 is kind of weird. I think it's, one, just not the best idea. Like uh, we haven't gone to the dock, right? No, we're going to... We're looking in the Thames itself. The dock would take us back to the Eatress Hill. Oh, shit. Okay. But, yeah, even as someone who likes RE7, that part still felt kind of weird. It felt, like, tone deaf. But I still, I still like think RE7 is good overall. Like, I don't get the people who say it doesn't feel like an RE game. It's very different, but it still clearly feels Resident Evil, especially in how it starts out, especially in how its progression becomes a little bit more like a power fantasy in the second half, because every RE game has that. I want to say, or at least I, I feel like 7 is more akin to Revelations 1 and 2. It kind of is, but like, because it's clearly them realizing their mistakes from six and trying to downscale everything and go back to it being more of a pure survival horror Resident yeah Evil. yeah i probably should have went one more up yeah because he's not in the beer hall so that means we have only a few other options we're going up i mean beer heart is sort would sort of serve the same purpose anyway it's basically there for people to get drunk and it's called the heart of the thames we're not, uh not up. we're trying to go to the deck 
I mean, their explanation for why they have the beer hall here is pretty good. It's just, hey, you have some anxiety on working on a giant ship in the middle of the sea where, where our next paycheck is based on your luck finding treasure underwater? Get so drunk, you don't have to worry about a thing. Let's check out the armor ground. Plus, we might want to buy some uh, equipment now that Pei is out of the party, which, re which removes the worry that we might waste money on getting accessories for him that he can't use. Really? Where'd they go? I don't know. What are you doing, Margie? Hi, Bart. I just heard from Chitan. I was also looking for that E-Tone. This person's seen that E-Tone before. Really? Hey, quit resisting. Bart! Look! You wouldn't resist. I could sell you for more. Really? What are you doing? What? Who are you? Instead of the brat, why don't I sell you off? What? You want some? Come get some, you losers. You think you're all that. Oh! Gunshot. What the? So about this game having rad NPCs? The name's Gilda. Gilda forgot my last name. I didn't think I'd get one anyways. You. What are you doing? Wait, this guy's... Oh no, Jezia. Close enough. Damn. I'll remember this. Also, push to anybody who got the reference I just made. Ooh! Ooh, shit! What do you think you're doing? Don't move. Wait. Shut up, you dog of Solaris. <laughs> Wait. Carbine rifle, my gun technique. You must be Jezia. No, Jezia, you are misunderstanding. You always rush into things. She was only helping the girl. What? What kiss and talker? Is that you, Hyuga? Oh, well, she's got a portrait too. Yeah. And similar hair color to him. Yeah, 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 I know, Primera. I am misunderstanding. Sorry, young lady. Please, stand up. Looks like you were just trying to help. That's what she says. Is it? It's a very expressive... Yeah! She, she, she communicates the same way Link does, through just, like, random grunts and folly. Hey. Sorry about the misunderstanding. This is Primera. My daughter. Um... Call me Jesse. It's enough that the little brats call me Jezia. So, it never comes up explicitly in game, but Jezia is meant to be a portmanteau of his name Jesse and the word Messiah. Hmm. Okay. I considered pronouncing it Jesiah, but Jezia sounds a bit more organic. She says thank you. Majesty. Majesty. <laughs> manga Messiah. Or Manga Majesty. <laughs> Something happened to her, and she hasn't spoken since then. Is this the girl that brought about your shotgun wedding? Oh! Yo! That's a damn rude thing to ask. Look at how old she is. Ramirez, my second child. That other kid's already 16, so he's not denying it. Oh, please, excuse me. How was your wife? She's dead. I wasn't even there for her when she died. I see. Chitan just tugging his collar. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? I have to go shopping sometime. Besides, my son has some unsavory business in this area. Uh, that E-tone you were looking for has just arrived. What? Wait. One of my favorite songs in this game. Yeah, they already don't sit right with me from that theme alone. It's the reason why, so that's why I want to help. He has a character portrait. I see. Could be in around the bush and just help. Fascinating. Father and Prim, too. So, I have a couple ideas of, like, voices Billy would have. I think Bryce Pappenbrook wouldn't be a bad poll. Yeah. But uh, I could also see Robbie Damon. This is my son, Billy. Where have you been until now? 
Things are pretty serious at the headquarters. What do you mean, serious? What's wrong with going out shopping with my daughter? I don't know the details, but you have been labeled an, as an undesirable element. What did you do this time? Fight? Gamble? Go after someone's wife again? Go start using the power of your god hand? <laughs> That's just a rumor about me. A rumor. Don't you believe that? Ever since you went into the ethos, you've become such a stiff. <sighs> See, a real Jekt and Titus dichotomy here. Yeah. This lady prevented Primera from getting kidnapped. Why don't you just help out? Well, can we get an introduction to the ethos then? Oh, yes, please, excuse my rudeness. I didn't know you saved my sister. Let me contact the medical department at my headquarters. I have other matters I must attend to, considering I'm not only a priest, but also an Eto. So I cannot make any promises. Hmm. Then you'll introduce us. Yes, let's stop by the Ethos headquarters after this. Billy, 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 Billy. A priest and an Eton at the same time? Isn't that unusual? The Ethos is obviously very different from my Nissan sect. Your Nissan sect? Are you from Nissan? Yep, I'm Marguerite. Nice to meet you, Father. So the irony of her saying that is not only her specific age, but the fact that Billy is 16. Yeah, it's... Weird. But, like, contextually correct. It's contextually correct, but the fact that he is a priest at that age just makes it very uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I've never had a proper chance to speak to the others about the religions. Can we talk later? Also, him bringing up Nissan specifically sounds weird, but the Perfect Works does state there are other Nissan sects in the world. There's actually yeah. one in Akubi. We just don't get to actually visit it. Um, when there also one in... Why is that? Why are you here and why are you a dude? <laughs> Uh, it wasn't- it <laughs> That's not a joke. You're going to see in a little bit. I actually yeah. based a lot of her character story on what happens with Billy later. But, uh, fucking... We also see a Nissan sect in Keys Lab, if I remember correctly. Yes, there was a uh, orphanage in D-Block that actually was a Nissan. Nissan sect uh, household. Yeah. But I can't take that much time. I'm a little busy now. Thank you. Marguerite. Where have I heard that name before? Forget about it. Relax. I came here to talk to the Ethos. Let's get moving. What an impolite fellow. You should learn how to speak a little more politely. Man, people really take brand loyalty, especially seriously with car manufacturers in this world. <laughs> hey, have you heard about my brand? Why you? Well, everyone. I'll go tell the Ethos Headquarters that you're coming. I'll go tell the brand Headquarters that you're coming! <laughs> There's actually a funny <laughs> joke about that because uh, Tagiro was talking about how, like, apparently when he was working his warehouse job, they actually did get a shipment order from someone that was actually called Ethos, but it was for, like, gym equipment and shit. Yo! <laughs> I would've been shitting bricks. We did! <laughs> I know, I know. Let's go. Hey, Billy, I have some business to take care of. And that business is, is at the bottom of a bottle of whiskey. If you're headed back to headquarters, can you take Primera back to the brat house for me? <laughs> All right, let's go, Prim. See, what's funny is you never know when company names like that are actually a reference to other things, but also, like potentially not in just happy coincidences the, the company the people who run the company skynet are deftly aware of the reference and very much had, was intentional because they're a telecommunications company so it absolutely falls into the terminator lore so like it, it's uh, yeah uh, uh. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, I've gotta get going. That was me chugging the soda loudly for the joke. That's the that's the price I pay. Yep. Later, Hyuga. I know I'll be seeing you around. So a little thing I wanna bring up. Who else has called Shitan by Hyuga before? 
Seagrid. Hmm. Also Ramses. Yep. Uh, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I really hope there's giant robot parts in here. Well, whatever. See you ladies later. Yeah, this was definitely a game written in 1998. Yep. He never changes. Secret said he would be done with the Idrisal soon. What, really? Alright, this time we can finally leave port. Are we returning to off? Are you kidding? We've got to take care of Faye first. Eh, that smart Alec kid said he introduced us to the ethos. He's only three years younger than you, Bart. Why are you calling him kid? Right? So, I guess we'll just have to go to ethos headquarters then. Especially the blonde one. Call me later. Uh... What's your name? <laughs> princess Bart? <laughs> You seem like a suitable princess for me! Actually, no. Considering the whole motif he's got going on, the only way I can imagine uh, Jesse sounding is like with the thick ass, like deep, deep bottom of the throat, like reverberating baritone with like a Texan drawl. Like, what the fuck is his name? There's like. There's a specific name I'm looking for. There was a side character in Final Fantasy VII Remake who sounds just like him. Because he's like the Chocobo <laughs> Ranch guy. I don't know. Fuck. That's right, Ellie. Yes, you're right. So, now we have our objective. To go back to the dock, enter the Yggdrasil, and get the hell out of here. Well, no, why am I saying it like that? This place is awesome. I, I'm sad we have to leave. Yeah, no. I need. I also need to need to point you to uh, to uh, Suicide Gargantia. Like, also, we it's spent, really good shit. Also, we spent like two and a half streams in Keyslev, and we only spent like half of this stream in in uh, in the Thames. Yeah. What the fuck? Like yeah. Keyslev is good, but it's not two and a half streams good. Now, see here. Here's the thing. There are some NPCs that are literally achievement hunter uh, members. In Red Dead? Yes, in Red Dead. Well, Red Dead Redemption 2 specifically. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I believe one of the bounty issuers is uh, Jack Patilla. Really? Yeah. Huh. I mean, I guess they are based in Texas, so there is a tenuous connection there. Well, it, it was literally, they. I, I think they, like, asked, but it's, they have a very good, Rooster Teeth specifically has a very positive connection with Rockstar. Yeah. Like, to the point that they can literally just ring him up and be like, hey, what's up? It probably helps that they've done, like, a bunch of videos of, like, fucking around in GTA V multiplayer. They finally moved to PC. And it appears the Ethos headquarters is located to the north of the Thames. We must hurry up and take Faye there. That reminds me. Margie said she has something to talk to you about. We're currently anchored at the Thames. Uh, yeah, I think we're at a good point. Unless there's anything I'm missing here, I think we're good to depart. There's nothing we're missing. There's those treasures we could have gotten the supply base, but we can always get them later. Okay, so so we will be coming back to this. We can it's... come back to this, yes. Okay. Let me show you our reborn vessel's improved performance. So there is a minor thing I want to bring up, and we can do this off stream if you want, but there's some things in Nissan we can probably afford to buy now if we ever backtrack there, because we can go all the way back. Okay. So do you think Faye was- Oh, I get what you're referencing. Ooh. You mumbled- Because remember, there's that Easter egg in the original release of Final Fantasy VII with Cloud in the, uh... In Cloud in the wheelchair. He actually references the lyrics to the ending credits theme of this game, if you talk to him enough. Oh. So, quick ment mental question. I, I mean, I get a feeling if I move any more than this, I'm gonna find out real fast. But, random encounters are still a thing, correct? They were not a thing in the desert. They weren't. Oh, well, while we're on the Yggdrasil, Yigur yeah, I guess we were, it weren't. Yeah, so we have to go north from here. Like, compass north. Yeah. No. Not, when I see shoreline, I get curious and I want to yeah. just run up to it and check that stuff. Unfortunately, but there's not, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> there's not a lot of, like, side stuff to do in this game. So it's it's now it's now Pillars of Eternity Deadfire kind of where you literally cruise by things and like look at this optional area you can totally miss uh, except there's not really many optional areas also yeah there's your answer 
Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I, I knew the answer. I just wanted to tiptoe around it for funsies. No, you're you're good. Oh, that HP. We should have probably ducked back in the Yggdrasil for the free heal. Um. Oh well. We'll be fine. Hit him hard, hit him fast. Griffin. Yeah, that looks like a Griffin. I believe you have. Yes, you do. Fix frame, so you're fine. I thought you were going to check out the damage on the air rods, because we can do that. No, we're, we're going to get safe. And again, anytime it looks like we're getting a little low on resources, you can just tap square and go back in the Yggdrasil, and everyone will get fully healed immediately. You okay. don't even have to go back to the supply base to refuel. Whoop. So you can literally do that in between encounters and, like, farm them out. Cool. So let's check out the damage on air rods real quick. Yeah, uh, it is her turn, so, so uh, uh, special go, options. Special options. And air rods. Boy, Four. that's a lot of fuel. Yeah, it's always 400 fuel, I believe, regardless of your engine, but... Look at these funnels. Oh! 1795! And it's still standing. But that's literally twice the damage of our single target spells. Yeah. And it hits everyone. And there's no failure chance like her area of effect either. But it costs a lot of fuel in return. That's part of why I want us to go to Nissan, because there is something there that can make that even better. Fair enough. So... If I can get his level three. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, charge up to see what it looks like. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kill it before we see it, though. I mean, if we, if we if we do, it's whatever. It'll be something I will go out of my way uh, with the next stream to make happen. Sir, should we shoot the giant monster me. with the cannons? Fuck that! I'm gonna go oh, stand on the ship in a giant robot and beat the shit out of it. Right. Okay. So X, X and triangle. Hakai. Or not. <laughs> oh. I didn't shit. know Shitan was a god of destruction. Oh, no. All right, yeah, we'll do it next stream. Like, we'll probably spend a half of ne uh, next week's stream doing some e some special extras. Maybe. Okay, so square. Yeah, and we just instantly enter. And then talk to him again? Yeah, and then talk to him again, and we, and we just uh, go back to piloting it. Gotcha. Uh, should we go in? We can. We may as well. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking hot. Yep. Yeah. Chita just went just and do repeatedly. He says, I am afraid you are already I am afraid you are already dead. And just adjusts his glasses before the dude's head explodes. Just keeps punching the guy. He's dead, Jim. Everybody's like, who is Jim? And he just keeps doing punching and saying, He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. Getting like just more and more aggressive each punch. He's dead, Jim. Remember <laughs> <laughs> correctly, her room's actually right here. Yeah. Because it's the one with. Oh, I'm gonna talk to this boy. Oh, spun goalie. Be a sleeper right now, too. He's such a sleepy head. I wish she had so much more contributing to the plot. Unfortunately, she's basically just here because they wanted a mascot character. She's literally over the proto knock on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not good enough to fight with Bart and his comrades because they because we ran out of budget and resources. I mean, but I can be a manager. Let me know when you want to change party members. Nah, we good. Who who are we gonna put in? Fucking who? Say, is Faye's room guarded while they're unconscious and vulnerable? I want to say yes. I mean, they're on the Yggdrasil. There's like, I don't think at this point anyone else is going to really try any bullshit. <laughs> like how we didn't even like stop that joke from happening. We just paused and then went forward with the conversation. What? <laughs> oh, poor fucking Rico. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> Alright, no one. It's just flavor text. 
Also, I'm glad that she isn't immediately going to grabbing a bet you know, being a huge cooler full of ice and a bone saw uh, when she sees Faye like that. I gotta get some organs. Anybody got any good organs? Oh, Faye doesn't have any good organs. How do you know? Have you seen him? <laughs> we don't have to actually go in here for anything. Oh. That was like all we needed to see. We can go back to like uh, piloting the ship and going back to Ethos Place. There we go. Why did I say Ethos Place? It's a church. I mean, you're not wrong. That's not the bridge. The elevator, right? No. Oh. Oh my fucking god. This is why today's stream is probably gonna be short. Shorter. Mongoli doesn't need a reason to harvest the flesh of humans. <laughs> right? Right? Spongoli is just in there like... You better watch out, Faye. I'ma come for that organ. It's just that one uh, Santa Claus is coming to town video where it just repeats, You better watch out! You better watch out! You better watch out! But it's just slowly zooming in on a picture of Choo Choo. <laughs> it just rapidly devolves into shouting and panic screaming. You better watch out! You better watch out! You better watch out! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, so, so we need there to find the right beach for that. Yeah, we need to find a beach to disembark. Uh, no, other side, other side. Because I mean, it's right near where the church is. Okay. I, I wouldn't have spotted that if you didn't tell me to go other side. Yeah, you see right there. Yeah. Good old sand. <laughs> Literally right before we made it there. Oh! This is an interesting new design. Are they mechs? Yes, they are. Are they humanoid? They're insectoid designed. Because again, not every uh, gear has a human design. Right, but like, I'm talking like their classification. Well, I mean, we'll find out when we beat the shit out of them. Like, are they uh, remotely piloted or whatever? Yeah. Rapid fire. Not a bad name. So the gimmick with these things is that they're incredibly agile, but they're glass cannons. They go down pretty easily. Yeah, I'm sure if I use the ether attack, they'll just drop like a heartbeat. I would have said mantis, but cricket works too. Let's see uh, if area ether can hit the, them. I I, I want to say they're more like look, looking like toe biters with the way the uh, the downward. I mean, yeah, they're downward, but yeah. they're forward and they look a little bit, a little bit inward. Yeah. yeah so yeah. they're like toe biter uh, design. Kind of. Because they can't. They're coming from the water, so it only makes sense. Uh, can we uh, hit them with an ether attack? Let's select it and find out. Just pick whichever. No. We can use air rods, though. Because remember, we can just free refill whenever. So we can just end this encounter right now. Yeah, that only hits one one target at a time. Lame! I mean, I was going to use it if you didn't say anything. Anytime Ellie isn't using air rods, everyone should be asking why isn't Ellie using air rods. Ellie, you have one job. What's your job? Air rods. Where are they? They need to be out. 1600 damage. Yep. That encounter just ended. Ellie is very good. They are classified as humanoid. Yep. 600 gold and three response circuits. So they're probably pirate ram. And as soon as we get on the sand, we don't run into encounters if we're ever on sand. It's only when we're in water. Speed. I mean, it could also be that they're like remote salvager drones that are like attacking us or something. I don't know if they're specifically Solaris goons. Okay. Because uh, they don't fit the design motif of other Solarian gears quite so well. The Ethos HQ. Yep. Is it is it weird that I actually subconsciously went straight for that book without thinking, thinking that I could just pop it open and read it? No, because it is very specifically modeled on there. Yeah, like it stands out way too much. But at the same time, I guess it's also just like a guest book or, or something. This is a practice hall. This facility was built for us, Etone. 
Can we go into the cathedral? No. Only Ethos members or those with known identities can enter the cathedral and its related facilities. So, pretty much tell Bart to go fuck himself and Ellie and Shitan can just, you know... <laughs> the same thing applies to this practice hall, but the bishop made an exception for Brother Billy. Brother Billy! So they're kind of saying that there's only certain areas that are on a very, uh special permission basis, and the only reason we're even allowed inside in the first place is because we got that exemption on Billy's behalf. Okay. We wish happiness to all people in the world. A little bit of background story for Ethos. Found into for hope, found it for technology, blah blah blah. We have been waiting for you. I received permission to treat Faye so long as it's in the practice hall's infirmary. Let us Ethos staff take care of the rest. Please, take care of Faye for me. Quick cut the black. And... I have 30 minute mark, just go. The brothers from the Ethos are looking after Faye in the infirmary. Let me take you there. Please, follow me. This way. Brother this Billy! Look at this fucking waiting room. Yeah. Caroline. Billy, I hear your father has been rather active again. <sighs> it said there was an attack on an excavation site which injured many of my brothers and workers. Well, you are such a fine etone, destroying reapers and proving the justice of the ethos to the world. But your father is... A bit of a prick. A bit of a prick, I'm sure. But a prick in a good way, honestly. Like, I like Jesse a lot. We are father and son in blood only. I have nothing to do with that man. Like, he's not a bad prick, he's just a bit of a prick. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I don't subject you, our good brother. I don't suspect you, our good brother. I just wanted to inform you about your father. Yeah, that was me accidentally. That father of mine. I wish he'd think about my position before acting. Hmm. The infirmary is this way. Let's go. We're here, and... This way. Okay, about the same. Am I gonna have to, like, chase a voice? No, thankfully not. The infirmary is this way. Let's go. Yeah, we have to actually go down that door he's standing by. Oh. Yeah. You know, with the way some of these lighting has been, it's there's moments where it's just like, oh yeah, that's oh. a door. Oh. Oh, indeed. That's a sudden change, isn't it? Reminding us that uh, Ethos might be related to the Solaris. The infirmary is this way. How is he? The patient hasn't regained consciousness yet, but we see no abnormality with his brain. The low water temperature lowered his metabolism and saved him. One false step and he could have suffered from brain death. I'm not a medical expert in any regard, so I can't say whether or not what he's saying is bullshit, but I'm just gonna go along with it. The metabolism part, not so much, but everything else is fine. That means... yes, don't worry. However, we need to conduct more tests for a while. After that, he can be treated at your medical facilities. Will Faye ever regain consciousness? Not until he beats this game! The reason why he hasn't regained consciousness is physical exhaustion. He overworked himself. It'll probably take him a few more days, but don't worry. He'll wake up. Okay, so he's just enervated. He's not like in a full-on coma. I'm sorry, Faye. I caused the engine room to lose control. He just got a really bad sunburn that put him out for like three days straight. <laughs> you, you ever seen somebody have a sunburn that bad? No. It is absolutely a thing that if oh. you get sunburned bad enough, you will be put out of commission for like at least two days. Ellie, that is not true. You cannot resist being hypnotized. More importantly, you saved Faye. Faye could not have been protected from Carl without you. Is that not correct? It still fucks me up that when they say Carl, they actually mean Carl. His name is Carl. Carl? Hey, we don't want to disturb his recovery. Let's take a little walk. And it may take a little longer to finish treating Faye. 
We followed your advice and tried shouting bacon cheeseburger as loud as possible near him, but it didn't work. <laughs> I would like to stay a little while. Is it okay? I agree. Faye will feel at ease that way. Please, let us know when you are finished treating Faye. We will leave the rest up to you. Alright, well, we lost Ellie again. Eh, only for a little bit. It's like just for this part. No, I know. This is a joke that we keep losing her. Oh, you do get a sunburn that bad. Yeah, so so you can vouch, you can vouch for that statement, Kagura. Wow. Yeah, it's not fun. It appears to be long. So yeah, basically what we just want to do here is we want to run around the facility uh, up top oh. and just talk to everyone. <laughs> Taking my words a bit too literal there. Yes, on purpose. So we just want to walk around and just like talk to everyone we can. And eventually we'll get like a specific trigger. That lets us know this is all done. Okay. There are tons of books collected by the ethos stored in this library. It's a real treasure house of information. So already we're seeing some very different uh, presentation to this place from the Nissan Church. Yeah, this feels like the jump from uh, Heidelin to Nordheim. Where it's like so dramatically different even in like general architecture and design. Um, I mean, I was just going to say going from a Protestant church to a Catholic church, but I guess that works too. Well, no, so you, you didn't really get to play through Shadow, uh, play Shadowbringers? No, I, I, I kind of dropped 14. Or yeah, no, into, you're, uh, you're fine. I'm, I'm just going to explain. So in Shadowbringers, the main uh, city, Crystal, Crystallarium, looks a lot like this visually. Okay. It, it's, a, it's a lot of like very defined tone, both visually and like atmospherically. Okay. Yeah. People like, who built Babel Tower were so afraid of God's revenge, they ran away to the sky. That place is Shabbat, the house of sinning hermits. Huh. So yeah, they were talk the other guy was also talking about that, about uh, Babel Tower, which is a massive structure in the middle of the Akubi Islands. Also, yeah, it is very, it's a very slight... You you didn't talk to the guy over at the end there. No, well, uh, bleh. I keep forgetting you could just jump over people. Yeah. And yeah, it is it is indeed a slight form of radiation poisoning. It's not like I don't think there's any actual hard severity to it. I've been assigned to go to the excavation site in Dazil. They just sit around their sky fortress and sin all day. What do you mean sinning? But do you know how much people up in the sky masturbate? Yes. <laughs> I'm to review the technical information of the ruins once again. Alright, so that's this room cleared out. Unfortunately, we can't jump over those guardrails, which is kind of lame, but I guess at the same time, that table also has collision, so we can't jump on top of it. So that would probably fuck things up if we could jump over that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because we can't stand on top of the table. Okay, so we talked to that guy over there. Did we talk to this Yeah, we talked to this guy. We cleaned this room out. Okay. I think there are some. Sp I think this is like uh, Trials of Mana, where there's specific NPCs we want to talk to. They're just not labeled. Right. So we just basically want to talk to everyone. I believe if we go to the end here, does that go back down? Yeah. Yeah, this goes back down. Across from us is another stairway which goes up. We're doing floor by floor. Hey, where are you going? I want to talk about Battle Tower. Right. Here's my lane again. I have no business with people not associated with the ethos. Okay, cool. Let me just look to your room. Don't look away during your conversation, you dicks. Who does that in a JRPG? You're supposed to be rooted in the ground until I give you my whole spiel. That's what my cousin Nern says. Okay, have a fun. Bye. By the way, did, by the way, you wait, no, you want, I, I, I want to tell you about uh, that, that time I was sitting around drinking lemonade. The bishop's been worried about reapers, refugees, Eton, and the faith. Reapers, huh? We're Reaper. gonna find out, find out who they are pretty soon, right? Yeah, okay. well, reapers, aka wells. Ah, uh, okay. So they are the same thing. Too many wells are out there now. More than we can handle. What are they thinking? So she, he, she, they. I think that's a he. He Old knows man. a little too much. Yeah, Kagura knows what I'm talking about, bringing up Nern. Because he has played Lisa. <laughs> this is the Pontiff's room. The general public is not allowed in here. Please leave. So they literally have a Pope. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna they do just about it? literally have a Pope. 
gonna do about it? What's his name? Pon what was his name? Sullivan? Is his name Sullivan? He's been sacrificing people for the past five years. Is his name Sullivan? Huh? Huh? No, his name is Chris. Who the fuck Alex Pope Chris? Stairway. Shout out to those who play Dark Souls. Nobody in here, right? Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, there's a kitchen to the side. Boop. Yeah, over there. Look at a big old pot of soup. Uh, busy, busy. Many more refugees came. We need to feed them well to cheer them up. Is that Smokey over there in the corner? Nope, never mind. Pretend I didn't say that. Smokey! Run! <laughs> Alright, so let's go up that stairway, because I think over that last door so we didn't check is just one. it's just the way to the confessional. Yeah. Okay, so that's so the stairway down, down to the med bay, this so this is the stairway up. up. I was hoping hey, it'd be really long. Yeah, hey, sorry, your parents died during the war. Have some soup. Right. But yeah, apparently the ethos does take in refugees. Ooh. Look at this fantastic angle here. Yeah, no. I, uh, once we're done with stream here, I'm actually going to show you what some of the rooms in Crystalarium look like. But yeah, this is also sort of like... Uh, this is like an early look at what would be done later with a lot of the like, secret area uh, angles in Xenoblade. Like yeah, some of the no, views you could get this is, there. This is very similar. Some work was put in this shit. Can yeah. I, can I hop down? Like, I think Tetsuya Takahashi okay. was uh, an environmental designer at Square before he worked on this game. So uh, I think that's sort of showing through in a lot of the uh, areas here as well as in the scope of areas in Xenoblade. I feel like he's also done something for 14. Doing a quick wiki look up, just for some fact checks. I apologize to everybody. No, he did not. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, okay. Oh, he... Some of the people that worked in, uh... Cine Gears worked in Sands of Destruction. I, huh. rec I recommend that game, by the way. I have a copy of it somewhere. Don't watch the anime. Okay. Do not watch the anime. Okay. <laughs> the anime is really, really different from the game. And a lot of really good characters get, like, character assassinated by, uh, like, the anime. The protagonist especially. So the Devil's, so the, uh, Devil Survivor 2 anime. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Don't, don't hit me there ever again. <laughs> we don't talk about the Devil Survivor 2 anime. <laughs> oh, I wish that was good. Plundered by war and salvagers, destruction by the reapers. We must meet the people's expectations towards the ethos. Reapers are humans turned into things by God to pay for their crimes. They're sealed in the cursed land of the heaven Shivat. So, well, Two completely different uh, perspectives on Shivat as of right now. As of this precise building. We now have, yeah, there's just people in Shavat and nobody knows who the fuck they are, but they seem pretty cool. And then we have, they're a bunch of goddamn sinners. Yeah, because <laughs> they say Babel Tower is connected to, Sh to Shavat. The exit is under close watch by our people. In spite of that, cursed reapers continue to appear on this land. That's why the Eton are here to eliminate them. He is actually true. You can check out Babel Tower whenever you want, but there is an ethos seal on it, so you can't actually go inside yet. Huh. So, that moment that I had control of the boat, I genuinely could have looked at something and just been like, here it is. Yeah, there are some areas you can go to early, but you can't actually enter them. Nice. And unfortunately, one of those areas we're not going to be able to actually enter until literally the 11th hour of the game, like before we go to the final dungeon. Right. We, the Eton, are the swords and shields of the ethos, so to speak. 
We fight with enemies such as Reapers. And thieves to save people with faith in God. I want to, like, now that I'm, like, thinking about this word a bit, I want to say it's not E-tone and more like a tone. I think in the, according, I think in the original script, they weren't even called the Ethos. They were just called uh, the Church. So I'm wondering where Etone, so I'm wondering if Ethos was working backwards from Etone or Etone. People beckoning to the Ethos must act modestly with generosity. To do that, we often read from the sacred scripts to, re to return to a pure soul. Gotta read that Bible. Boy, have you read your Bible today? No? Okay. Aha, you! Ask Billy if his dad holds a grudge against the Ethos or not. They say his father bombed the Ethos supply dump. Oh, my head hurts. Okay! <laughs> and he says the same thing. Yeah, I had a feeling. I, I was I was gonna exhaust, uh, but the original intention, not for joke set sake, was to exhaust the dialogue oh. like this. Why does Jesse attack the Ethos buildings? I heard he was once an amazing Eton. Yeah. I had a feeling that, you know, there's a little bit more to that dialogue than what we were letting happen there. And here's where some of the refugees are. This room was prepared for people who have no one to turn to. We hope to save their souls and give them hope to live. We just gotta put in a memory crystal and they're good to go. Everyone. Everyone died. Um. Ah, so we found the refugees of Lahan. Uh, someone from the Ethos got in a huge gear and saved me. It's not from Lahan, these are just in general. No, I know, I'm just making a joke. Some man named Master attacked us. It was very frightening. Hmm. Is that some foreshadowing? I don't know. Really? Does that never really get addressed? I don't believe so, no. I think wow. he I think the kid just literally does not know Master as a title. Fair enough. Although to be fair, I also don't have a full comparison of like the English to Japanese script. Right. He kept screaming about power or something. Need more power! You think Roth would be friends with Virgil? Probably. They seem almost like... Hold up, I just saw a fucking treasure chest. We can't get that yet. That's know, just going to be sitting there taunting us. How do you get, like, near that? Is there, like, a hidden door over here? We cannot get that. I, right we, now. We will be able to get it later, but not now. Well, I know, but, like, where would the door to that be? We'll see. Well, we'll see later. We won't see right. this time. Ellie, how is Faye doing? Uh, yes, it looks like he's going to be all right. Ellie, did you pull the plug? Well, yeah, but only because they say we didn't need it anymore. I just wrapped... Oh, okay, fair enough. Come on, let's go to the infirmary. Just walk into the room and the and the plugs just sit on the ground. I like how I, like how I immediately took the high road there with that. I know, right? I was trying to make that a dark joke, and you're just like, nah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we just need to go back down to the infirmary. Yeah. If I recall correctly, it's that door. No. Hold up, I gotta confess my sins. I keep taking the wrong door, father. Is, is this a sin? Please tell me you're partially doing this on purpose. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I'm running it into a joke. Thank God we have vodka in the freezer. It's not yours. I know, but I'm gonna ask for it after this if that's just what I have to put up with. Touch that vodka and I'll chop your fingers off. Yep, there's your answer. <laughs> Hello everyone, the treatment is finished. Did Faye regain consciousness? Unfortunately, the patient hasn't regained consciousness yet, but there's no need to worry. When he recovers physically, he'll also regain consciousness. You can take him to your ship now. Thanks a lot. Please, don't worry. I did my job as a clergyman. Um, where is Billy? I'd like to thank him. 
He went to go edit a video for a man named Wooly. <laughs> Have you heard of him? Actually, Billy has a lot more in common with Wooly than he does with Min, and you'll see full well. He went back to the orphanage. He was worried about the children left behind. Oh, I, I, I kind of want to ask Wooly to uh, let's play this on stream sometime. I mean, I mean, this would be a suiting sequel to Wooly vs. God, I'll say that much. Yeah, yeah. Because this is kind of just Christianity the video game. Yeah. But more Gnosticism, really. But Gnosticism does have a variation based in Christianity, so... Hey, uh, apples to oranges. Yeah. Faye, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to go straight for a safe point, and we're going to call it here. Uh, I honestly, I feel like that's a good spot to stop anyways. All right, so back to the gun room. So that or was... the bar. I mean, there's fucking. I know you use them. I, oh, because you interchangeably. Cause, yeah, because yeah. you call it the bar. I know it as the gun room because that's the official term. I mean, if you want the actual official term of what you're referring to as the gun room, it's the war room. Well, that is explicitly what they call it in game. Is the gun room right? Capitalized, but. I mean, if you're a captain of a ship, call it whatever the fuck you want. Anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, my name is Lockwood Maku. I'm Eric Video. Not even gonna do your outro, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching and stay true to yourselves. And once again, thank you so very much. Bye. See y'all next week.